shit was we're Eagle Eye. I ain't get the. We're live, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> we're live. No, Allende plays Apex. Pussy, talking to the fucking mic. Allende. Yin. Watu Mojo? Watu Mojo. Shout out to Watu Mojo. We just did a dope event with them today at Ruckus Camden. Shout out to Ruckus. We hot. I can't hear shit. What you mean you can't hear shit? I can't hear shit, cuz. I hear y'all. I can't hear myself, though. I can hear you perfect. <laughs> you know, you know what's going on either. Well, you, I don't know what to tell you, bro, because I can hear you perfect. Let me see. Hold up. Well, I mean, this headset is brand new, puppy. So I don't know why I couldn't be able to hear myself. But see, you might want to go a different channel or something. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, yeah, now I can hear myself pretty big, though. Yeah. Y'all hear me good, though? See, and you know that we got the... You can you speak, me. John? You hear me? No. I'm speaking to the mic, bro. You hear me? No. No. Uh-oh. A little technical difficulties. It's, uh, uh, compar, uh, compermiso. We sorry. Hello? John? Yeah. It's picking up your it's voice. It's picking you up, but you're not... You know, yeah. You're not I don't on. hear myself. Where Where you got me plugged at, though? Speaking to the mic, Ace. Yo. Okay, I can hear Ace. I can hear you. I can hear you. John, speak again. Good. Okay, Actually, sorry. no, I can't hear you. Can't I hear it picks up your voice, but I can't hear you at all. Is this the episode of fucking technical difficulties? Yeah, <laughs> number four. <laughs> or number five, cabrón. Yeah. We both look at John. <laughs> like, what episode we on? Because he knows. He's what on, episode we on, bro? He's usually on it. Um, I don't this, know, is epi- on this is episode five. This is episode five, yeah. yeah. I come on, come on. Um... All right. This morning, well, started fixing my motor. Facts. I mean, this is the fuck. I don't know why John Hopefully can't hear picking himself. me up, though. Uh, this is kind of weird. I'm put in a position where I actually got to fix something. <laughs> <laughs> Mama knows Mr. Fix It. Well, maybe it's the prong you gave him. Remember, remember the one prong I think you gave me last time didn't work? No, but it was that one? I don't know. Oh, let me see. Here, here. Take this. Mm, this is my mom. Give me this. <laughs> My bad, people. This was my fault this time. I, didn't say, I I'll think, be back. <clears throat> think you gave us the wrong prong, but it happens. Everybody has something. Fuck you if you're judging. <laughs> you know. JQ, you're you're back this week. He I'm was back. off. I'm back. He was off. Make sure I don't know. Like I said, we, since I can't hear you, just try to be a bit close to you, close to you as much as possible. Like actually, like have the mic facing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so you can. Not too, not like that, because you, you want to speak, like, have it, you know. All right. You hear me? You know. I, I can't hear you, but I'm going to make sure it picks you up on the, on the, on the. Hopefully it's picking me up, but. Oh, shit. Hold up. I'm back, though. It should be. Check now. Check, check. Yo, yo. It's picking you up, but I can't hear you. You can't hear me? No. I can't. Bro, I can't hear myself. You got the biggest headset on right now, and you you trying to listen to it over your Scully, dickhead. Uh, no. You trying to hear yourself over your Scully? I don't think that's a problem, though. No, I can't hear him I, I hear. I hear his voice. You hear Amy? Re- ridiculously loud. Yeah. Both of y'all voices. I just can't. I'm not hearing myself. I don't know. That's a. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> y'all can't hear me though, right? I can't hear you, but I can hear you throughout here though. So I mean, if anything, I could I'll take off. I one. mean, no, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Anyway, I'm saying this, we can still get it going. Yeah. All right. Well, I apologize, bro. It's cool as long as it's picking me up here. Cause well, then, yeah, just know. make sure you speak into it though. You know, cause you 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 don't. Is it picking me up pretty good though? Not right now, no. Cause you gotta speak into oh it. My God, bro. All right, we should be good though. We probably got like a good like two minutes of bullshit right now. <laughs> Straight up bullshit, technical bullshit. This the type of shit that niggas will put in the comments, like <laughs> yeah, like so. Uh, <laughs> go to sure two you, minutes. <laughs> make sure you go down to two minutes and uh, the podcast starts. To that bullshit. Like yeah, the first two minutes they're just being dumb and high. Don't even listen to that shit. <laughs> podcast starts at two ten. Out. Javon trying to say it's his fault and John not speaking into the mic. It's just <laughs> word bunch of bullshit. Yo, so I definitely just got a dope ass text message. What's up? Niggas just informed me that uh Your Barack Obama blow up dog came in. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. No. That's not what I was uh gonna say, but it doesn't even make me wanna say what I was gonna say at this point. Go ahead, say it. Nah, say it. You blew my shit I wanna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you blew my shit fucking. Nah, so um we did this super dope event today. Shout out, like I said, to Watch Moja. 
Shout out to I Create and um, Creative Culture LLC. So essentially, uh, we went out to Rutgers Camden and we did an event with the youth today where we enriched them and we, I mean, we showed them that they have creative powers, what, what I like to say, you know what I mean? <coughs> we were basically, <laughs> this guy pulls my glasses. <laughs> so we was basically like showing the kids like, yo, um, y'all wanna be rappers, singers, artists, dancers, musicians, producers, CEOs, entrepreneurs, you know what I mean, whatever. You, you can do that, you know what I mean? That's what we were bringing to the forefront today at Rutgers Camden. And it was like really empowering the youth. And it just so happens that singer songwriter Miguel saw a video of us and the niggas like kind of geeking. Cause you know, one of the one of the homies, Lester, he got a good relationship with him. He actually gifted him. Miguel with the him. singer? The singer, yeah. Yeah. Get no, the fuck out of here. Flower bomb. On God. I wouldn't even lie to you about this. On God. Mm. Wow. <laughs> he said, mm. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, like a uh, couple years ago, Miguel, or excuse me, <laughs> Fami, uh, Lester London, uh, gifted Miguel with one of his pieces. You know, he, he paints and shit too. So he gifted Miguel with a piece that Fami has tatted on his arm. It's crazy. Um, But we were literally just talking about that piece today and Miguel. And it just so happened that, you know what I mean, he hit Fami up like, yo, I peeped that, you know what I mean, that little event y'all was doing with the kids, blah, blah, blah. I fucks with it. So, you know. Just the universe letting us know, I guess, that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, you're going to do your own good things. Where, where? As it should be. Need more good in the world. Too many bad. Yeah, for sure. I think we can all agree, agree on that. Especially, like, shit like when you got people that's lying on other people. Y'all heard about the Amber Heard thing, right? <laughs> John said, I know, John, we talked about it. I think you said you didn't really get to get yeah, up on it too much. Man. But you, I, I'm pretty sure yeah. you can still give a good input on it. But... Pretty much what it was was um, she was uh, basically they had a situation back years back, and she claimed that he hit her and all this other bullshit. So for years, you know, Johnny Depp's been his name's been going through the mud with being an abuser. Right. Now, the fucked up part is now in today's time, she admits that you know she lied, which you know I'm, I'm gonna get back to her in a second, but um, with that situation, like even like it's been years. I'll give her, I'll give her, I guess, a little props for being honest now. But she, but, but she still ended up fucking his life up. Regardless. Right, and 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 that's where it's just like, but that still overpowers it, and I get that. So, and that's why I'm more supportive on because at the end of the day, there's too many situations in the world where you got men in jail for being quote unquote abusive, you know, abusive or whatever, and. It's fucked up because sometimes it's not always the case. Right, and sometimes it'd be a lot of bullshit. Yeah. A lot of good men who actually are good men in the world get fucked up because they, they give a girl who they think deserves a chance, I guess. Too you know? much fucking power. What do you mean? Too much power? I mean... Like, like pussy like, power? Yeah, like pussy power. Like pussy what? Not like whoosh, but like... Like you, know, you, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like you, you, you let the female almost inconspicuously run the relationship not 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 like everything she says goes but basically like everything she says goes no i don't think that was the situation i think honestly it was more um because in the you heard the audio did you hear the audio no i did not i I heard the audio well not all the way through because i was getting irked I got to like maybe like the fifteen minute mark, and I was like, "Yeah, I can't." Oh yeah, do if this you no got more. that long, I would have probably lasted too. Yeah, I couldn't do it no more because it, it, she started irking me, and then it was irking me that he was so calm about it. <laughs> like, like whatever. Nah, yeah. like he was like defending his case. He was cursing a little bit, but like he didn't really get all crazy, you know. Right. Like, like she he said, didn't go he off did like the way he should have. And then she even admitted it that she punched herself or whatever, or whatever the case may be. Mm. So it's like you did all that because of what jealousy or and can you know you know. What is it? Uh, security reasons. You know what I mean? Or oh yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's from the story. He actually fucking liked it. That's dope. Miguel actually liked the damn post. That's dope. That shit. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's that's dope. Shout out to all that. That's dope. So that that was pretty much the whole situation. Like she just the audio was out. <clears throat> Whatever they was arguing about was over over stupid shit. It right. just it sounded so stupid. 
Probably some petty shit. It was, I, in my opinion. I don't want to go there for dinner. <laughs> no, nah, it, it wasn't. That. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it wasn't that petty, but it was petty enough, you know, to be like, "Damn, you did all that for that," you know, like, "Come on." And then it's like, and it's sad because there's people in the world who have kids and have those situations, and no, don't even give a fuck about what the kids going through. Right. You know right. that. That's the worst they part. They don't even about realize it. that essentially through the situation, they're fucking the kid up even more. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the worst part about it. Especially like you know, I mean, like our generation, our parents was trying to, you know, our parents was there as much as they could to be. I'm, you know, we right. all know each other's parents, you know. And I always think like, damn, like seeing now that I'm adult and I'm seeing through that shit, like going with see what other kids go through. Sometimes it's like I feel for that kid. You know what I mean? Because like, even though I didn't probably go through the same shit he's going through, like. I know what it feels to go through some things, and it was just like, but to see the pain in their fucking eyes is just sad, man. That's a sad, sad thing to see. Like, Word. when you see a kid Word. just crying for help, without crying for help, you know what I mean? Like, not legitly, physically. Quietly just, crying. Yeah, that's the worst, man. When you see that, that's that's actually like a fucking mind fuck. For real. Yeah, man. That that That's a heavy situation. And especially when it's like, you're connected yourself so like i kind of low-key go through go through that myself like you know what i mean personally me being separated with my son's mother you know what i mean and i see the change in his mood and his attitude when the time comes around when it's time for him to go home because he knows i gotta leave and my dad's not coming with me you know what i'm saying and essentially like Y'all know my son is my twin. Like, right, right. Th- everything that that boy does is me, on the low low. But he might be a little bit cooler than you, though. Yeah, he probably is, but that's okay. Definitely He's supposed cooler. to be <laughs> <laughs> for sure. This guy looking for something to ask you. Come on, man. Look, I got an ashtray behind the TV, cabrón. Threw my whole train of thought off. Yeah, that's just stink, nice, right? bro. It's no, that's just stink. Even my mom said that's just stink, my nigga. I wanted to give her a hug, bro. She was like, that shit stinks. She's like, Soldier Boy. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, don't <laughs> lie, my nigga. <laughs> don't lie. And you, and you know mom is so sweet. She's yeah, probably, mom, she's she... probably like, she's probably like, oh, you know, I love Javon, you know. Yo, <laughs> dead ass. Dead ass, bro. She was just like, ah, oh. she's like, she like, do he need like cologne or something? Oh, like, man. Damn, I mean, she won't contribute I, to my cologne well, nah, collection. I, I absolutely well, love yeah, it. Because I didn't want to tell like, I was like, we we baked out and blah, blah, blah. Right, so. right, right, right. You know, I you know, not to be like all oh, person my life, but yeah, I don't you know, I'm honest, you know me, I don't hide shit for nothing. But yeah, you know, so I'm you know, I was fucking see my mom and then the next thing you know, I'm fucking giving her a hug and she was just like, That that stinks. What is that smell? <laughs> and she was like and she like she like she like it smells like you smoke, but then it smells like just something different. Like it just <laughs> It's a mystery. Yeah, she, <laughs> it's a mystery. It was like you smell like a mystery must. Yo, it I, was. I can't. It got get to it. the angle. I got to the point where she said, "Take off your hoodie. I'm gonna wash it." <laughs> Damn. Okay, so essentially, I'm never gonna use that uh, blunt effects again. Yeah. I thought I'm not even gonna lie to you. I thought it was the uh, what's that fucking scent? Butt naked. You know, it's, it smell like baby powder. No, nah, no, no. But I'm the butt naked shit. smells like baby powder and shit. I just that day I just need a little spritz just so I won't be smelling up my car. You feel me? And next thing you know, I'd smell like fucking the basement. So <laughs> I was just like, "What the fuck?" Like, thanks, Javon. Appreciate it, though. You're welcome, bro. But man, anyway, so back back on the topic. What you gotta think about that, John? You you kind of quiet over there. I want to hear your input. I mean, I didn't really hear too much about uh, the stuff y'all was talking about. Yeah, but just your personal input, like just. Those situ- that being that you know in that situation, someone being right, in that so situation. So let, let, let's put it like this: Your homie was messing around with with some shorty. Shorty gets into some bullshit and says that your homie fucks and fucking beat her up. You obviously believe your short your homie because that's your nigga. Y'all, I mean, he's got a better relationship than you and his shorty. How do you feel about it? Simple as that. Man, what? Yeah, bro. Hold on for a second. I'm glad that you said that <laughs> because I just thought I was that high. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? I, I really didn't understand. You that. high, nigga. What you just say? You just said some off, not even on the topic. That was not the situation. Creative the situation. Culture. All right, this is the situation. Creative culture. 
Yeah, shout out to Creative uh, Coaches and Facts, LLC. Facts. Oh, we shit. in the building. No, what, what, listen. What it was was that they was <laughs> arguing, like I said, they were beefing, whatever, whatever. She claims that he beat her. He never fucking right. beat her. Your homeboy, okay. in his shorty, is going out. His shorty allegedly says that he fucked her up. How do you feel about that? Well, you said he clearly didn't do it. So was there facts behind that he didn't clearly do it? I mean, you gonna she believe, admitted you it. Gonna be, she admitted it. She 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 admitted that she he never did nothing to her. That she did that to herself. She did self self inflicted wounds to herself. She she, she fucked, fucked herself, herself up. up. Yeah, and claimed that he did it. Yeah, but it wasn't. Can't take you serious, my <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he looks too fucking cool. <laughs> right. If y'all could just see this nigga right now, dog, he looks too fucking cool, oh dog. Oh my god, Chester Cheeto shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetos, bitch. <laughs> the bitch, Cheetos. But I don't know, though. I mean, of course, that should have pissed you off, but you didn't do it. You didn't do it, though. I mean, I don't know what to say about that too much. I'll be pissed off, but what can you do? You just got to prove you didn't do it. I can dig it. I mean, me personally, like, if, if, one of the homies shorty said, oh, this nigga fucked me up. I'm, I'm probably going to look at her like she's crazy. Like, this, this bitch is drawling. Fact. Big time. Sometimes, depending on which homies we talk about. Don't put none of our homies like that. No, like, no, they're no, beaters no, in our group. Nigga, <laughs> fuck out of here. Oh, none of us ain't like that shit. Nah, but. I, I said scrambled definitely... eggs, bitch. <laughs> 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 you ain't put no cheese in them. Damn, that's we <laughs> you know how Javon get down. <laughs> Lip over cheese. You ain't put no cheese on that shit. What the fuck? I want that shit dripping off the fucking bread. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Damn, Javon. No, I would never beat my shorty because she ain't put no cheese in the eggs. <laughs> Pepper, maybe. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, no. It gets deep. It's like, no. It gets deep. Shout out to Johnny Deep out there, man. Here, Johnny Deep. I'm gonna post it for him so you can hear. Listen, Word. he wants yo, to play. Yo, yo, yo! Speaking of that, so what's up? Yeah, he, well, guys, trip to Vegas or what? Well, oh, he got me. Hyped I'm with it. I'm, I already said I'm with it, but the crazy part is, it's gonna have to be. He wants me to go out there like literally like next week type shit. Nah, nah. Well, he I was, was talking, talking to us about going out there in May. I know that for my I'm birthday. About, well, yeah, I know that. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking about that though. Oh, he wants you to personally yeah, go out there. Yeah, because he was asking right? me he was like, like, yo, bro, like, come out here, bro, blah, blah, blah. And we were talking just literally last night. About it, that's crazy. I told him I was like, I don't know, bro. I work at, you know, I work now, and I'm working a seven of, you know, to whatever in the morning. You know what I mean? So I'm like, it's kind of gonna be hard. But he was just like, yo, you know, just fucking after work on a Saturday when you get out, just come straight on the plane. <laughs> Some weekend shit, like yeah. jump on the plane, jump be on back the plane, on, be back by Monday morning. No, be <laughs> back, be back. He said I could leave Sunday night, but knowing him, yeah, it's gonna be back Monday, Monday morning. Monday morning, nigga. Two o'clock in the morning, nigga. And Monday then, morning. And then that, that still gotta go have to go to sleep that whole fucking, you know. And you're you probably gonna, gonna be up. You're probably flight. gonna be up for like the whole two or three days you're there. Yeah. Bro, you know what was fucking me? Nonstop. I was looking at flights, right? And this shit had me fucked up. Like the timing, because you know it's three hours difference. Yep. So it was saying like, okay, you get on your flight at eleven o'clock and you get to Vegas at like one o'clock. But it's a five hour flight. I'm like, yo, how the fuck does this shit make sense, B? It had me fucked up for like 30 minutes. And then I remembered like, oh, they in a whole nother time zone. So they three hours behind. So they not even going to, we going to be in the air for five hours, like miscellaneous as fuck, like not having a time or anything. Mm -hmm. Like that shit is crazy. Like on some old like dimensional paradox shit, the way they fucked up the time like that. Paradox. You think there's actually like you know like like, like multiple that? dimensions? Yeah, like on some Rick and Morty like multiple yeah. universes. Well, yes. I mean not that cartoony, but yeah. Yes, <clears throat> to an extent. To what's the extent though? I feel like there's like, mo pro there's probably. I don't feel like there's multiple universes. I feel like. But that's what like pretty much what multiple dimensions are. Well, yeah, yeah, essentially. I feel like there's decisions or. In the universe, right, it's laid out where you can make certain decisions 
Did I just get big? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he just, he just, <laughs> just some bullshit it was, over there, JQ. What it was, JQ like, <laughs> liked the setup. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain that shit. <laughs> he liked the setup, so that's what it was. But go oh, ahead, keep I'm like, playing. what the fuck is going on here? No, no, so no, the no. eye contact, everything. The eye con, everything. <laughs> so, yeah, like, there's basically multiple timelines. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you on some fucking, I don't know if you ever seen the episode of Black Mirror, where it was the whole fucking episode was like you're in a game, and that's, based, the, that's the movie to hang on. Right, 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 right. And every decision you make gives you a certain outcome. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like it's like that. But the right. one dude outcome when he picked to die, that nigga died. He really died, right? Do you It'd think be like that though? No, when when you die though, do you think that is like a simulation? And you come back somehow, somewhere, like on some respawn shit. Yeah, like on some apex, like nigga just picked up your click. But the thing is, like, when, but when you come back, you <laughs> don't come back. You, you don't come back obviously as the the same person. Right, you get reincarnated as a fucking roach because you lived your no, life. No, not even as a roach. Not even as a road. You can jump anytime you want, John. Right. Well, I'm, I'm right. Here. He's I'm just here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> He's just over here rubbing his hands Bird together. Bird 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 over there. Yeah, right. Shit. Put Play some respect snakes. on my name, nigga. Play those snakes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, nah, nah, but not as like a road train thing like that. But like, I mean, that's some people who do believe they come back as fucking trees or whatever the case may be. But I'm not talking about that. But I'm like talking actual, about like as another person, like a baby. Right. Like you come like as you another. You don't remember nothing. Being. You come back. You, you know, but thing is, some people do. Remember? Yeah, they definitely do. Definitely do. There's about facts that. out there, bro. There's yeah, facts. people remember. There's yeah. people Coming out there back and being reincarnated, bro. There's people out there who have died in their past life, right? I'm listening. And when they've come back into their new life as a child, right? Mm-hmm. They can explain who killed them in their past life, or find their body, or even find. I seen a documentary like that. Where Get the fuck I seen out a documentary, documentary like that. Be? Where they had a kid and he was actually like drawing stuff out from Past way lives. back to where like the parents didn't even know about. But when they were checking the facts you on what it, the documentary is called. Don't remember. Damn. I don't. I should. It was. A, it was a while ago. But it's crazy that we're talking about it. But is he was able to name places and draw the things that was there and he's never been there and never seen. Right. It. Right. Right. That's so crazy. people are like, how the hell? That crazy. is wild. It's crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because now it even has me skeptical about the way I felt about it. Like, yeah, because is like it true. Yeah, because like right, like think about. I mean, like I don't say I believe it. Like, as you, you know, as you know, I was raised in religion, and, right? And Nosotros somos and cristianos, shit. right? So Pentecostal and whatnot. But <laughs> I have always had my no own personal in your jeans. <laughs> yeah, always got rips in my jeans. Rockstar baby. <laughs> But nah, um, I always try to keep an open mind to a lot of other shit, and I always have my own belief. I believe that there's a lot of truth in everything. There's a lot of lies, but there's also I think everything that's out so, there that has truth. There's this theory <laughs> that's sort of like no religion is wrong, but no religion is right. Right. So it's like every single religion all had it wrong, but they all had it right about one thing: that there's God. I mean, or something like that. I mean, something similar to that construct. Right. Look at how I got. Yeah. Look at how I got this. Bro, bro, stop, stop. Bro, why does it always butterfly when he touches it? When it was in my hand, it was kind of breaking up. But it was cool, though, right? It was manageable. You seen I just lit it, though, right? No, no, no. I literally just lit it. We was we had all eye contact over here, bro. Pause. There's no there's no way in hell that you, you know what I mean, do the finessing over there like. Why, it always butterflies when it gets to you, bro. Your Dutch. I want to smoke always, it. And then you always got some bitching ass shit to say. Like, oh, look, why would I sabotage look, guys, it? I want to smoke it. And it's like, why the fuck did you grab it like look that? Look at and this. Fucking, you know what I mean? Just look at it. Finangle it like that. I ain't. I ain't. Give me this shit. Out. Hold on, Angel. Grab it. Look at it. Damn, it, was, it wasn't that bad, bro. It was not like that. Fix I literally fixed it. I fixed it right before I gave it to you, and it was cool. I know. I know. Fucking cover. It's gonna fall out. Fucking cover. Why are you fixing that? <laughs> like, so the whole purpose of like the simulation, right? That that's that's the that's the crazy part because what if every dimension you're talking about or every universe, right? 
is a new simulation. Whoa. How would you know, though? You wouldn't. What do you mean, how would I know? No, you were just, oh, I thought you were saying, so you were just saying, what if every yeah. everyone was a new one? Yeah. Right. So, like, essentially what you're saying is, like, let's put it in a, in a perspective that we can think of. Every time you die in this quote-unquote simulation or game, you come back in a new game. Mm-hmm. But it's not the same game that you played previously. Mm-hmm. So it's like you're you could come back. You could go you're, back. You're going from Call of Duty to Apex, type shit. Yeah, you could be fucking one moment right here in our Earth, but the next thing you know, you die. And you're and on Halo. Or no, something. no, no. Like you're on. Why? I don't know why you keep thinking of games right Halo. now. <laughs> Apex. <laughs> you're, you're kinda... Season four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't get it. But um, no. What I'm saying is like when you die, right? And then you go to when you re reborn in another simulation is basically like saying you went from Earth one, right? But then the new you starts off in like Earth thirteen. I get you. You feel me? That's another whole another universe. No a, a, a whole another John, a whole another fucking New York City, a no a new new, you know City. new everything, bro. New new you know, new New Jersey. I was gonna I didn't want to say it, but fuck I'm gonna say it. A new New Jersey. Yeah, okay. you know, like our universe in New Jersey is shitty, and then maybe Earth thirteen New Jersey is fucking amazing. You know what I mean? So it, it, it could get deep, bro. Right. It, it gets to the point where it can even question, like in a sense, religion. You know, a little bit. A lot of it. I mean, what religion is it that you get reincarnated? Buddhism. Well, I mean, I God. Yeah, I think it is Buddhism. Was it Buddhism? Yeah, I, thought, I, I, well, it I would say then. Oh Buddhism no, no wait, he got he got re- he got resurrected. resurrected. Never mind. There's a difference. That is a difference. Technically, I don't think there's a difference. How? Because being because reincarnated, you come back to the same body. No, being resurrected, you yeah, come back to yeah, being resurrected. Oh, yeah, being yeah, reincarnated, that's you're going to a new life, right? But right, that's what I'm saying. You can come back as like a fucking ladybug, right? Fucking leaf <laughs> on a leaf off a willow tree and shit, right? Uh, an apple that you hold, or you hope a horse doesn't, eat. or a big ass fucking tree, like <laughs> 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 you remember that? That reminds me of the uh, Dane Cook John about yeah. the atheist. You remember that, shit? yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be reincarnated to a tree, then some big ass dude come and chop you down and <laughs> shit. And turn you and he's just Ch- uh, yeah, turn turn the tree into paper and shit and make you into a Bible. <laughs> That's hilarious. All because he sneezed on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I completely thought we were talking about the episode with the chick and the leg and it was like <laughs> you know when the when the leg go <laughs> Uh yeah, the uh, was it uh, Tic Tac Ninja? Yeah, yeah. Tic Tac Ninja probably was like the, one of the best ones he like I, jokes I love he had. That. I love that one. That man. joke was fucking great. It was great because like I mean, even though I, like I don't know if y'all know, but he was current, apparently he was quote unquote material, stealing material. Yeah, but me. regardless, that joke is fucking gold to me. Whoever said it before that, even better. I'm pretty sure. I'm right. pretty sure. It was Shout even, out to them for being the original. Yeah, yeah. If he if he stole <laughs> if, if he that stole was, that one. Yeah. <laughs> If but that wasn't one of his original jokes. If he didn't, bro, that shit was fucking funny. You didn't hear that? You remember that joke, John? You don't remember? Nah, I don't remember. That's when that. he was talking about how, like, basically, that should be good. I think it's still it. He was talking about how, like, when you and your girl get into a fight type shit, and then, like, like you could be, like, winning the fight pretty much, talking shit, whatever. And next thing you know, before she go away, and, like, he's saying, like, that all girls are, like, trained to do this pretty much. Like as soon, as, as soon as they walk away, they they say something that's like so fucking like little, disrespectful. Th- it's like, not even that disrespectful. But it'd be just so little and petty. It's like a tic tac. You feel me? It's like a little detonating tic tac, and they put it in the back of your brain, bro. And they'll say some shit. Like he said, they'll say some shit. Like, well, you're just like your father or some shit like that. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> and. He, it, it could get you like you'd be thinking like whatever I, I won this you know what I mean like she, like she walked away whatever and you start thinking about it, what she said and you get mad about it and you just think and you think just like my father's a great man <laughs> 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 and 
And it was like, he said, you go upstairs and shit, and she's in the kitchen, and just sit there eating, like, you know, her little fucking yogurt or some shit like that. And you walk in there, like, my father was a great man. You know what he used to do? He was such a great man. You know what he did? He used to give me all oodles and noodles. All the fucking oodles and noodles I wanted. You know why? Because he was a great <laughs> fucking great man. Fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking snaps on her and shit. I was like, and then he's like, next thing you know, that's when it just detonates. It blows in your head and you just go off. And he's like, it's just, it's over from there. She won. You know what I mean? And I was just like, wow. That's, it's true. Because I'd tell you right now, though, when we could just say one little thing to a man, bro. And that that should be on your fucking mind. Bro. Yo, it would kill it to get some ties, <laughs> dog. Like it'd be mad as shit for like a whole Facts. month or a year, yo. Like even Ooh, longer. She really said that. Facts. Like, what the fuck, bitch. Right, right, right. <laughs> like that shit. Why would you say that? Like ugh. that should be so funny because that shit is true, bro. Like women got that power when they're just like they say one little thing, bro, and it's over. You want to go? No, I'm good. Like, we just react and it's, it's a wrap, dog. Like, right. Subscription over. <laughs> yeah, that should be is the truth, man. That shit's funny. Word. But, like you said, back to the simulation thing, man. Like, you know, you don't got no more thoughts on it? Honestly, bro, it's it's, it's, it's kind of, it's heavy, bro. It's, it's you don't want to talk about it, right? Nah, it's not even that I don't want to talk about it. He I don't, don't want to go down where, the rabbit hole. Right? Yeah. I don't even know where to start. Because once I start, it's just going to be like, bleep, 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 bleep. Well, that's what that's what I was telling John before. I was like, a lot of people, what it is too, like they don't really want to even know, like because like it the is Matrix, heavy for them, bro. Like, like <laughs> you could start there. Like, what if life was seriously like the Matrix on some shit where niggas is just being harvested as a resource, and I mean, it's like you wake up and you're in a whole another fucking universe where you thought that you were living this cookie cutter life. And it's really not like that. Well, that's what that's what pretty much like the simulation is like, like, like be like think about it. You don't think about like who's controlling the simulation. I, I never want to think about who's controlling the simulation. I mean, I feel like, like you see, you you you're, it's fucking you up, right? <laughs> it's because me up, you know bro. why <laughs> going you know down why? that rabbit hole. And I told John why. I told I, John why. I know exactly why. It's because the way we've been programmed. Well, that, but it's because. It's not even because the way we've been programmed. It's because truthfully, the truth that you believe, you don't want to go against it. Because you have a way of thinking like, nah, it's this way. Right. Your mind, the way that the the the, the maybe like and I was telling John, maybe the way the simulation wants you to think is the way that you shouldn't think. Mm. Mm. Or even being like thinking in another way where it's like they're telling you, oh, well, this is this. Like, for instance, like, what if, and I was telling, like, what if, right? Yeah, like I said, you know, I'm in religion, but what if, right? What if the simulation is programmed to tell us that there is a religion, but there really ain't no religion? Hmm. That goes to, like, that whole, that goes right back to that, that shit I was saying earlier. Like, how all religions got it right, but they all got it wrong. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's just like that because because like, it it makes you think of like when I think of the shit like this it, it makes me literally think of like certain like books in the Bible like Genesis and how they talk about the story of Babylon and how you know what I mean they tried to build this tower to see the heavens and everybody was already speaking the same languages and God came down and mixed up everybody's language and only certain people spoke certain tongues so people didn't understand each other they didn't know what, how to communicate properly. And, you know what I mean, essentially, people just broke off and just left the tower alone because they couldn't keep building because they didn't know what the fuck the niggas was saying. No, we might even know what they're saying. Like, they didn't speak the same language as them? Yeah, yeah, because essentially that's what that story of is, a, is about, the Tower of Babel, about how the humans or the, you know what I mean, the people that were here and during those biblical times at that passage were trying to build a tower to see God. They were building, that's why it's called the Tower of Babylon, or mm -hmm. the Tower of Babel. And God basically had to put a stop to this, because we can't have y'all coming up here. Phew, I'm going to change your languages. So, y'all going to speak this, y'all going to speak that, y'all going to speak Chino, y'all going to speak Hindu, y'all going to speak this, y'all going to speak that, and y'all not going to be able to understand each other. And that's what the story essentially was, was about, them not being able to communicate 
because God had to figure out a way for them to differentiate them or to, you know what I mean, to split them up so they can't finish the, you know what I mean, the plan at hand. And it makes me think of like situations like that when we talk about simulation. Like, I completely lost train of <laughs> What's the name of that weed? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, I think it's some purple shit, though, but it's good. It's good shit, though. It's some good shit. That shit was That's like, part Whoop. of the simulation, bro. Yeah. I was, what about this, bro? Like, think about this shit. <laughs> no, because think about this, right? I even I even broke down to this, bro. I said, yeah, what if the person, right? Like, mm-hmm. that, like or for instance, right? I'm in my mind. I don't know what you really think, right? right. I don't know how you're going to really act. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Body language is a big thing. Right. Right. So, but what if right now, as we're speaking and I'm talking to you, the simulation has programmed you to act the way right now. Right now, I don't, I, you right now, you couldn't even be real to me in this simulation. This whole time growing up, this was just all in my own fragment of my of mind. Of your mind. Even this situation we're right having now. right now. Right now, you're agreeing with me, but right now, you're programmed agreeing with me. Mind fuck. <laughs> you ever think about that? Or 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 or, or, <laughs> or even think about the fact of like what if like you know how you, you're dreaming, right? And it feels real as shit. Right, right, right. Like right, you, right. you really feel it's like one you're of the realistic those... dreams where you're like running and you're you feel yourself sweating. You feel yourself there, you right. feel yourself cold, hot, right, whatever. You right, just right, feel right, you right. look you it just it's a vivid memory right. sometimes. Right. And when you die, you wake up, right? Or when you're about to die. When you're about to die, when right? When you're really close to dying. <laughs> right, right. Like, you, or when you're falling. Type or some, shit. Right, but you wake up, right? Right, 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 right. What if that was you dying in that simulation and coming into your new simulation? All right, let me just put the mic down. Can't talk about this shit anymore. The fuck? <laughs> My brain is about to explode, bro. No. He can't you, handle he, it. He looks so he worried right now. It. It's so funny he because he, he don't know what to think. He's really like, holy fuck. Like, I didn't think of it like this. Because I know you didn't. Because... That's the cl- that that's the closed mindedness. Not that you have. I'm saying like that normalness that we they want us to be. But when you actually really are woke or really, like, and I hate to use that word woke, but when you really are open minded, that's what the Matrix was about: waking the fuck, fuck up. up. You know what I mean? Now I'm not saying suggesting like people should fucking go off themselves and go to another well, fucking don't life. Off yourself, please. Yeah, you know what I mean? Not like that. We please do not don't believe in that shit. But I'm saying is that like. What if those things do happen where it's just like you do die? And I even think sometimes what it like, I'll even, and I'm saying a lot of what is because this is what it, what I think, you know what I mean? So it's, this is part of how I'm gonna speak it, but at least I'm safe inside my mind. Yo, that'd be crazy. <laughs> inside my mind, inside my mind, <laughs> inside my Yeah, oh man, it kept going. That's like the episode of Spongebob. Remember the episode of Spongebob where these niggas had the fucking, the time machine? Mm-hmm. And these niggas was like going back in the time and shit. And it, they went so far back in the time where these niggas got stuck in like a fucking paradox loop. And everything was just, the universe was fucking upside down basically. Mm-hmm. And it was all types of creatures and shit coming at them. And then I don't know where fucking Squidward just, pops up and it's just a fucking blank room it's just a fucking white room and that's it that was like i don't even i don't even remember how the episode ended but i feel like in my head that was the end of the episode because it was just like what the fuck else was there for him to go to like he went so far back in time that there was literally nothing Mm -hmm. you know what i mean but it was like well, you know, compared to you know to uh, Elon Musk, the the world is actually like a billion something years old. A billion? Yeah, like a billion That's something. It? 
that's that's not. I mean, no, no, like I'm sorry, I said a billion, right? I'm high. Eighteen billion. Okay. Years old. Some eighteen point something or some shit like that. He said. This is what Elon Musk said. Yes. Hmm. I wonder where he's getting his source from. He's a smart motherfucker, man. Yeah, I know. I heard it's a fact. He said he want to die on Mars. Did he say that? It's a fact. So what they gonna just gonna just let the nigga fly to Mars? Bro, he could do it. He got the money too. He said he he said he wanted to die on Mars, but not on impact. That was his joke about it. Sure. But it's not even. It, <laughs> but it's not even. It's not even about the money though. He's actually a smart dude. Yeah, yo. He's very intelligent. Like that guy. I watched it. I watched the Joe Rogan episode with him. He's a. F- that's an interesting guy. I didn't even know they had an episode together. You didn't see it? it? Oh, dude, you gotta see it. It's a good episode. Good, yeah, good man, episode. Joe Rogan, man, he's a great guy. Yeah, shout out to <laughs> he's you, a Joe great Rogan. guy, man. You inspire us, man. Yeah, not for real, for real, he does. But truthfully, like, he's a smart dude. He's drilling holes in like L.A. That ass for to 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 stop congestion of traffic. What? Yes. What? He has a theory that if he drills holes under the L.A. and like under the highways or whatever, under the streets or some shit like that. It would stop the traffic flow from LA traffic. How, Sway? Bro. How? He explains it all. I can't even get into it that much. This is on the episode? Yeah, he explains it all on the episode. But find out what episode number that is. I need to see this shit. Just type it in Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, it will pop up. Prende, prende, prende. Yeah, fuego. Chacho, prende. Salud. Damn. Yeah, so that guy's smart. <laughs> He's dude. just too cool right now. <laughs> Coolest guy on the planet. He look like he very bobbed the fucking bank. <laughs> nah, but dog, uh, that's um, that's crazy to think though. What if like you ever think about like in the future, like flying on motherboards, crashing out hollow boards? Nah, nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> No, nah, not Stop that. Stop spitting fire to my motherfucking lung with scorch. <laughs> Shut nah. up the fucking rock. Terrible. Nah, but like, you ever think like how like the future could be when we're like 60, 70? I mean, I, hopefully, like I said, God willing, we all live to like fucking our hundreds Shouldn't and shit. You, yeah, at least 90, shit. You know what I mean? Healthy, you know what I mean? But I always think like, yo, in the future, that shit's going to be crazy, bro. Like, the shit that's going to change throughout the decades is going to be like... What if that shit don't change at all, bro? What do you mean? That we don't evolve to something? What if, what if that shit, like, like... Like, really think about it. Like, how much has shit really evolved? Like, shit has changed, yeah. Shit yeah. changed a lot. Shit changed, right? I think, <coughs> change, I think change came... But, I mean, as far change. as, like, the mon- the mundane routine of life is never going to change. That shit is always going to be the same. You always going to get up. You always got to go to work. Or you always got to go somewhere where you got to make some money to survive. At the end of the day, that's that's all it's going to be. And this is how, like, I'm really starting to, like, to see this shit. Like, we're in the matrix. The simulation. The simulation, bro. We're in the matrix. That's why he, he's stuck. <laughs> he's stuck on it now. He don't know what else to think now. He's just like, yo, we're in a fucking, we're in a fucking simulation. But that's what I'm saying. And like I said, and I'm still, and at the end of the day, like, even though I think that stuff, man, I still believe there's a higher power. You know, regardless, I still Somebody believe. Somebody created the Matrix. Right, I, right. <laughs> that's who the higher power is. What no, but, no, the but, no, what if, but the, what if the people who control the Matrix just Aren't make. the creators. Yeah. I mean, that's or the, how or, the Matrix was essentially, too, because or, the agents or, didn't create the Matrix. They were just a part of the Matrix that controlled the Matrix. Yep, London. London at the door. Shout mm-hmm. out to London. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he tried to get in. Trying to get in and shit. Nah, but like, but still, like, that's not you know, that's crazy. The 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 creators are are the aliens that's up there putting in the hours. Could be, it could be. Some niggas is fucking making motherships and shit. Yeah, putting in hours. They could be. They could be. They, that that who knows? We don't know. That's the great part about it. We don't know. Yo, Nobody so, will never so, know. So what if the, the aliens run their civilization like almost similar to ours, but it's only just slightly different because they know how to harness certain resources in their planets. You know what I mean? Like they still got cities. They still got cars. They still got shit like that. But their that answer cars. John's, that answered John's question of who makes the ships. Right. Like they run their shit just like we do. 
but their shit is just different. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nigga, like fucking Halo, bro, when they come down with all the alien guns versus our guns. Like, these niggas got everything we got. It just looked different. It's because instead of them using this shit, they use the other shit. Like, they got microphones, but they microphones don't look like our microphones. Well, that's believable because I did just, uh, it's, it sucks that I can't remember the name of it, but I was just listening to some, some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And um, they were talking about astronauts basically going out to Mars. And there's some shit that's, I guess on Mars right. to where they don't need to take extra fuel basically like they right, can just take they can they, just sit there and charge up they can take enough fuel to get there and then whatever I forgot the name of it whatever type of shit that's whatever on Mars or whatever fucking right they can, shit they on can the use that table to, to fuel <laughs> it's, they can use that to fuel and come back right, it's right, crazy right. it's crazy whatever element it is so yeah. in that part it's believable but, but still like who's putting in that work Nigga, just like you and me, they putting in that work, cuz somebody alien, got alien to. Alien people, man. Somebody other got people, to. Other people from that planet. There's Nemo Namo. Nemo Namo. Not, Nemo Namo. <laughs> species. I mean, that's what, that's what species They're another mean, species, though. right? They're another species, man. They're that's what it is. Human, like, like, whatever well, other species. Because well, we're a species. We're the human species. The simulation. The simulation. Yeah, but, yeah, but so what about it? And not not Yo, the simulation. Do me a favor. Ash that. Yeah. Bitch, team. My bad. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure my son keep my room clean as all. Well. Didn't mean to say simulation. <laughs> Another dimension. Remember how we were talking about different dimensions? Yeah. Right. What if they're from a different dimension, but they can, but can, they can also come in into different so dimensions? So like, okay, okay, so okay, future beings. Me- remember, remember back in the day we used to watch Power Rangers. Yeah. And remember the first like integra- integrated integration of the next like new Power Ranger was the Power Ranger Aqua shit. Mm-hmm. You remember that? I think I do really remember that. And a little bit. they came in from another dimension. That was the whole thing. Like, oh, like the Power Rangers was fighting these niggas because they thought they were evil, but they was like, nah, we Power Rangers like y'all, but we from another dimension where everything is underwater. You know what I mean? What if it's some shit like that? Basically, right. that's is well, that that, what you're saying, John? Yeah, the other dimension. Right. Yeah, right. the other dimension is pretty much like right now, John. It's right a now, parallel dimensions, right? Ours, like, but it's just slightly different somehow. Right, like maybe John and the other really universe. Morty shit. On the other universe, John is a a fucking skinny white Taco dude. Roach. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Or a DJ, DJ Jonathan. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, we know a DJ Jonathan. Or is, you know, in another universe, he could be an NFL player. You know, yeah. while shit like that like it, it's crazy how you could think that maybe another you and another universe could be better <laughs> like like i could actually be skinny yeah like you the javon here is a nice fluffy nigga you feel me pause but the other mm. javon in the other universe m- might be a built ass you know what i mean lady get her i guess and so actually have no, nah, fuck with you, bro. You know, I picked the one that yeah. quick, bitch. Fuck out of here. No, nah, fuck with you, but nah, but for real, like that's that's you know that could be crazy to think about. Like the other you could be you know a whole different person. Right. Actually, have a neck. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, bitch. It's fucking around. Right, yours could actually have a fucking beard. Ooh. Facts though, I need a beard. Chish. Crazy over there. I'm gonna get some. Don't worry. Watch. Give me, give me two years, bro. Two more years, watch that shit kick in. Watch. Yeah, talking about talking about talking about all I that, that di- talking about all that uh, <laughs> dimension stuff. Uh-huh. Y'all ever heard of so, y'all ever heard of something called the uh, Mandela effect? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Bernstein Bears. Bernstein Bears. There's, uh, there's new ones now. There are some new ones now. Oh. That's just crazy, bro. It That's is, just crazy bro. to get into. Bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I saw Sinbad. I saw fucking Shazam. Listen. Not Kazam. That shit was Shaq. <laughs> I saw Shazam. Word. I, I said the same shit. I too, fucking man. saw Shazam. Word. I said the same shit. And he was green, B. Like, stop fucking no, trying remember, to play I, me. I don't remember nah, being he, green. I, I, I remember him seeing him in human form. Yeah, I remember being in human form. Yeah, with but like it was definitely him. He had the earrings exactly. and everything. Yeah, earrings. Everything, bro, With the shoes on and everything looking like he came out of fucking Aladang. 
Yeah. From fuck is La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aladdin, bro. Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin. Like, what the fuck like, is, is that Aladdin, where you get nigga? this weed? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but then I was like, I remember that shit too, but he even said it. He, he even like, said it himself. He said he never did it. Nigga, that's a part of the Mandela effect too. Of course they're going to make that nigga say he never said it or he never made the fucking movie. And then they make Shaq stupid ass like, yeah, I did a movie well, that's called what, Kazam and I wasn't in the fuck. Nigga, we don't remember that shit. Don't what nobody I, remember what, what that if, bullshit. All right, so now think about this. What if that's in part of the simulation where sometimes there's a glitch? And they changed the fucking character of the fucking... By an accident, they probably uploaded something to our simulation that wasn't supposed to be, wasn't supposed to be in our simulation. Come on, with all this Matrix talk, man. You're <laughs> fucking me up today, bro. Like, right? That's glitch true, bro. We even got... We even, Yo, you remember that fucking show, Reboot? Yeah, as a kid, the yeah, cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I wish they would bring that back. That's to, that's but... that's like the fucking shit. They was them niggas was jumping from dimension to dimension too, mm-hmm. and the shit like you know what I mean, going from program to program and reprogramming the system because there was glitches, and that's what they were fighting against the glitches in the system. Like, dang, damn. What if they was trying to tell us, bro? We gotta fight the glitches in the system, b. We gotta let niggas know it's Berenstein Bears and not Bernstein Bears. B. It's already too late. They change. It's already changed, man. And it, but the thing we is, we gotta be, figure out what the next one is. There's a lot of them. We're on a mission. Who's on the mission? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I live comfortable now. I ain't doing no missions. Though. I'm Come done. Come on with all this bullshit, man. You gonna take the red pill or not? I took the red pill already, but what mission you talking about, cuz? You you wildin'. Wally got that right now. Talking about oh, shit. Mission. Are your eyes open, though? Oh, mine? Yeah. yeah All I'm three just, of mine is open, baby. Nigga, I'm high as shit. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. All I'm three. talking. Okay. I'm here. Nah, oh, you talking he, about you? He, he, no, you ain't catch it. You uh, still sleeping. Wake your ass up, nigga. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't like being out the loop. <laughs> <laughs> Creative culture. <laughs> we are the culture we create, baby. Are you making change it to me all out? My bad, bro. It was, it was lit when I had it. It's always something when he has it, dog. <laughs> it was fun when I had it. Word. It was, it was closed when I had never it. Never him. It was never <laughs> fucking him, dog. What the fuck you mean? Like, I'm supposed to own up to the bullshit? Yeah, because that's what men do. <laughs> Not if I ain't do it. I ain't fucking do it. Right. I right. passed it and it was lit. Righteous. I'll give you that. Righteous. I'm going to leave it alone. He passed it, it butterfly. How the fuck did that happen? I had I didn't have nothing to do with that. He just touched it and it blip. Butterfly. Watch, watch, watch. Make sure make sure you pass it to him correctly. It's a little open, you know not I mean? but not a lot. Make sure it's only at the tip like where he's burning at. Whoop de whoop. Whoop de whoop. Come on, cuz we're looking like the fucking sixteenth chapel and shit. <laughs> Niggas touching fingers. <laughs> Javon really don't like talking about this whole uh Mandela effect though and all this stuff, don't you? Simulation makes you uncomfortable. Inception. Yeah, yeah. Think about that. That's what this is, bro. It's an inception. It's it's a dream within so a dream. I'm in, I'm within in a dream, a dream within a dream within a dream within a dream right yeah. now. Y'all motherfuckers is trying to convince me that what? It's part of the simulation. We won't know. Who knows? Because like I said, when you die, you go to another. You go to another dream. Go to another. You know. Every time you die, you wake up, right? I'm never going to sleep. <laughs> Pretty cougar shit, man. Nightmares. Go go f- go get the bring the fucking coffee pot into his room and shit. <laughs> I already got the Keurig. Yeah, ready. You gonna be up? Bring like, me some pods, bitch. Insta cups, good. espressos. Bring you mean still. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you too, bitch. Don't nobody be there at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no, nah, we don't. The ones we got, we don't. We don't have that. Oh, yeah, 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 it's official, we got exclusive. Official. Yeah, we got exclusive. That shit official. Keurig is official. Nah, what nah, you about? our shit. Nah, you're, nah, nah, our shit is yeah, official, yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's if you whole, want a coffee machine, bro, you want yeah, this machine, yeah, yeah. my it's nigga. Yo, hey, yo, more than that, my nigga. You know how the you know how the Keurig got that little. Cup. Yeah, the little basito. That is is a is a pouch that go into that joint. Official. But that means that you got to fucking drink though. Everybody got to drink the same pouch. It's a disposable pouch. It's a disposable pouch. For oh, each flavor, individual shit, flavor, whatever you want. Yeah, bro. And that, that's not even a kicker, bro. You got fucking iced tea. 
iced coffee. In the fucking everything in that bitch, bro. Or not I I think it said ice not said iced tea, my fault. It was iced coffee. You iced got coffee. coffee, espresso. You ever make an iced coffee? Nah, I, I never did that. Coffee. Or just, espresso. They got espresso in there and everything, bro. Yeah, but I, I would figure that you would have to put an espresso packet in there to do it. You, a regular coffee is not espresso, right? Uh, I don't know. I would, I would you think would you could put an espresso packet in there. That's what I'm saying. That's that's different. I think it, would, it, would, it wouldn't even do it the same way it makes the coffee because espresso was made differently. <laughs> Right, it, it got like steam. It probably got steam, steam milk. Yeah, shit. steam. Well, regardless, this shit has all that shit in there, though, bro. It has a lot of shit. That's what I'm saying. It has a touch screen, and it you, it makes it just it. It's just dope. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, but you know what? They make tambien. They make a little vasito for the Keurig that you can put your own coffee into. Yeah, I seen those. Yeah, so yeah, you know I mean? that's whack though. That's whack though. Yeah, that that's shit whack weak. though. <laughs> that's that's weak whack compared though. to what we been got. there, been there, done that. That thing don't even work that good. Yeah, bro. it's a weak. Like bro. it puts it's, the whole. It's, it's in a the good. Thing it's a good it. thought, but it don't. It's not that good. I yeah. had it. I'm a coffee. I I, I love coffee. So yeah, when I, I, I know I had that. that. I fuck with the Keurig. Period. Did you win that from work? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yo, I actually suggested that they uh get a fucking Canon Rebel T7i. You be congesting a, suggesting a lot of shit, and I'm going to tell you, they're going to think you cheating, bro. You better <laughs> stop. Bro, I already get. got like a fucking band worth of tickets already. <laughs> I'm you, number four You didn't right win the Switch? No, nah, I didn't win the Switch. I lost. Yeah, be on YouTube. Like, 50 more car parts sent out, and I'll get 300 more tickets. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, yeah, like, need parts out at me. Joy ten forty. <laughs> yeah. Like you know you need warranty on this light bulb, right? Yeah, you need warranty on everything, baby. I'm good on that, bro. <coughs> Shit, yeah, and if you don't need it, I'm gonna put it on there anyway. <laughs> You're gonna get the free one. <laughs> yeah. Be like, okay, your total comes up to uh, two thousand dollars. Be like, online it said five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you didn't fucking factor in the shipping fees, bro. That's usually what ends up happening: shipping fees, taxes, insurances. Like, look, you want the parts or not? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're a fucking online hustler. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you really want this shit like or not, that. man? Because I ain't got time for this shit. All right, I got other people I to talk to. Promise you, bro, it'd be like that. Like, not saying I'd be finessing people, but. You be finessing people. <laughs> you be finessing people Don't fucking lie. You be finessing people. Yo, like some people call me and be like, yeah, man, I know I need this and that. So I'll be like, all right, yeah, 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 you need this and that. And I already know, like, some people get correlated parts together. So, like, if you get a water pump, of course, you're going to get a pulley. Then you might want to get some belts. You know what I mean? And certain shit like that, there's combination of parts that people usually buy. So, bitch, just start upselling ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Nigga be like, yo, man, I need a fucking alternator. And All right, so yeah, you need this, that, and the third. Well, listen, my man, usually when people buy that, they get this. And they be like, yeah, man, I do kind of think. Well, how much is it? But yeah, man, I got one over here for you for like whoop de woop blah de blah Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, throw it in the car. Binks. Insurance claim. Binks. Binks. By the time we end this shit fucking car, nigga, we looking at a rack and some change. Nigga be like, damn. But it's like, cuz. Look at how many parts you about to get, bro, and your car about to be A1 Gucci. Bring, you know what I mean? Card information. Out. Thank you. Have a good day. Finesse God. And be calling three days later, like, hey, I'm trying to uh talk to a rep. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out why my car is charging me fifteen hundred. <laughs> I want to return these belts. I only needed an alternator pimp. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's funny as shit. Like damn, though, this nigga trying to sell him the world. That, bro. He tried to sell him the transfer, world. They transfer. They, they that transfer. They transfer the call back to Javon. Transfer the call back to Javon. Listen, when they niggas make themselves, they commit it. Like, bro, come on, dog. You got you got multiple cars, bro. Let's keep it a bean. You got a couple cars. You know how it is when you need parts. And you got the bread, and you need the parts now, or, you know what I mean, immediately. You're going to do what you got to do to get them fucking parts. Am I right, or what? Right. Okay, then. So niggas need the parts immediately. And that's what I'm there for. I like me, Joy 1040. Hmm. I feel it. I feel it. 
some people know more about getting parts than other people, though. I leave that there. I know about giving money. <laughs> <laughs> right. Basically, what he, man, I was say what John really saying is that he not coming to your part because he's gonna try and rape you and get tickets and shit just so you can get some yeah. tickets. No, nah, but that's yeah. my bro. I'm not gonna do him like that. That's bro. I mean, yeah, it's discount, bro. I got you coming there. I'm gonna like, try to really put my discount on there. Like, yo, Crash, what's up? That's my man. You can't, you know, that's my cuz. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say some bullshit. Like, that's my brother. And he gonna be like, yeah, that's your brother. All right, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna come through. He like, yeah, that's my brother too. He was like, nah, that nigga too white. <laughs> he like, nigga, that's not your brother. Get like, yeah, like, nah, we, like, yeah, like, that's my brother. He just never, ke- we always kept him inside the house. Kept him inside the house, he never come out. <laughs> oh, he didn't get a chance to tan. He didn't get a chance to tan. Yeah, yeah. He on the pale side of the family, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm pale as shit, man. I'm not that, that pale, bro. I'm nigga, pretty like, dumb. <laughs> So yeah, yo, season four of Apex just came out. Fuck that show. Nah, I gotta bring it up. Oh my god, I gotta bring it up, oh nigga. My god. It just I came just started out. yawning as soon as you said Apex, oh, bro. That's crazy. Listen, first and foremost, shout out to EA, man. Y'all, y'all developed a crazy ass new character, yo. This character, yo, from day one, <laughs> the the minute I got on, John was here. John was here. EA, EA, yeah. Who makes the game? EA. EA. Yeah. Okay. You go sure? on, go yeah. on, go on, go on. EA makes the game, bro. All right. Oh, All God. Right, go on. So, anyway, shout out to EA, you know what I mean? Fucking, from the moment I got on the game, dog, like, I already knew this nigga Revenant was going to be a problem. And season four <laughs> comes in, and, and, and season four comes in with a whole new fucking map, son. So this map is crazy. It's basically taking the same map as season three and it's making some big alterations. Like a fucking bomb blew off in this bitch. And there's a new big ass tower where it's connected to like the fucking the ground and it's connected, like taking all the fucking lava and all the energy and shit. As soon as the man has got like a thousand fucking bins in there where you could load up, grab hella guns, ammo and all that shit. And you know what I mean? Lick up and ride out with your crew. So long story short, Man, listen, I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna be trash as soon as I get on with Revenant. John was here. The minute I get on with this nigga, six fucking kills, bro. Killed two fucking squads. We came in third place. You know what I mean? We didn't win it. We should have won, but that was some bullshit. You know what I mean? I, I did some fluky shit. We died. Whatever. But long story short, bro, I am fucking obsessed. I love Apex. Uh, if you play Apex on any system, Xbox One or PS4. Holla at me. My game tag is Sensei Cloudy 42 on PSN and Sensei Cloudy on Xbox One. He's fucking ass. Uh, <laughs> don't, uh, don't play with him. Sensei, I don't even gonna say that. I don't know. I really don't get to really see him play like that. I mean, the majority of the time, I fucking pass out. <laughs> I'll be high. <all> right. <laughs> but yo, you said, you said EA, right? Yeah. All right. Well, it says here you're published by EA. Okay, so who's but the publisher? The but biggest name but is they're, EA. But they're made and developed by Respawn Entertainment. Right, they're the same people that make Fortnite. I'm not too Respawn. Sure. I'm not sure either. Respawn's the same people that make Fortnite. Okay. I don't, I don't play Fortnite. I hate no, that I game. don't play Fortnite either. Fortnite's trash. Well, yeah. Hey, I didn't I didn't think EA was part of it because Yeah, bro. They're one of the they're the big backers, essentially. That's some niggas wouldn't be this. That's big not if comfortable it though to know that that's the backer. That's the reason. What what, even more of a reason why I wouldn't even want to play the fucking game. How? How? Why? You don't respect EA? Fuck EA. What? I respect EA, bro. Yeah. Respect EA. Fuck EA. Franchise. Until they give me a fucking better sport game. I was about to say, bro. Come on, man. We can't even like, like we could reminisce even on the, on just one simple thing on EA, and you will go crazy. Russian we attack, can, of course. No, not even. All we got to do is say EA Sports, and you're going to say the fucking, the rest of the phrase. Say it. It's in the game. There we go. But that doesn't, that. Bro, uh, come on, okay. bro. Stop. Who cares? Stop, bro, it's EA, bro. Come on. No, bro. Listen, on, listen, dude. bro. Listen, listen. First of all, I'm heavy into Madden. You know that. Fuck Madden. All right. Madden. I'm into Madden. That's EA Sports. Yeah, I know. And all I right. I can hate Madden. It's crazy. Now, being that so, like, right, since I was a young kid, 
my first ever sport games I ever played was like on Sega, like Sega fucking Saturn and shit like that. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even. Was Nintendo. It was like I think like Action Live '98. That was my basketball game. Right. It was good. I I liked it. Mine was NBA Jams. Well, besides NBA yeah, Jams, you feel me? Like that was of course that was on Super Nintendo, but like like real actually a real basketball game. You oh, feel okay. me? And then going from that and then seeing going to live because I tried live once, didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. When I got to fucking Dreamcast and 2K came out, that's when I fell in love. I was like, oh, my God. This company makes great fucking sport games. They got football. They had baseball. They had fucking basketball. Yeah, 2K was shit. College fucking sports. You feel me? It was amazing. Great games. Hoots, the, the catches, the dunks, whatever. Whatever game you playing, it was great. Hockey was dope, all that shit. Word. I remember the hockey dunk. S- remember yeah. soccer? Soccer. Oh, my God. Well, I didn't, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't play, nah, I didn't play another soccer. I ain't going to lie to you. Because I ain't going to lie. I, if I did, like, well, EA well, Sport. Well, was, you know, I had the like, Xbox, so right. I got the first one. So that shit came mandatory. Mm. Like, tch, FIFA was lit. Like, that shit was lit. Right. But that, but so my point is that. So I'm going from those games and then actually having to be forced into buying Madden because when they bought the fucking rights, I had to be forced to buy to buy Madden just because I like football. Right. I love football. You know what I mean? So being forced to buy it and then going from that time up here to be forced until now that I'm about to be fucking 30, still playing this game. And not once I could ever sit there and say that through the whole year of me playing it, until the next one comes out. Not once have I been like, man, like, I love Matt. You know what I mean? Like, damn. It's been a very long time since I've said that. You know what I mean? So. I think the last time I said that, fucking Sean Alexander might have been on the cover. <laughs> when he was a Seahawks fan? Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Definitely did switch up a lot of times. Yeah, dude. It was just, I don't know. I, I just, that's why I say, I say fuck EA. Because to me, they just summary. But games. I was gonna say, didn't uh, EA make Battlefield? Wasn't you like a heavy Battlefield fan? He is. A well, heavy yeah, Battlefield. that's true. He likes you, you're very right, and and maybe. But see, there, that's a whole nother company. I feel <laughs> who's the other people that really. I think it's Bashida, if I'm not mistaken. That actually, I don't, I don't know. Don't that uh, that really like kind of like made it or created it in a sense, and then EA was like, Yo, EA is low key like the Disney of the fucking gaming world. Nah, EA, nah, nah, I wouldn't go all that. I wouldn't. I couldn't even say who is because honestly, all these game companies are the same to me right now. They're all they're all pumping out games that's either remakes, or continuations, or something that's exclusive. You feel me? They're not really pushing out like I don't know. And don't get me wrong, like I, I'm not complaining about the games they're pushing out. Like right. they're some of them are good, but a lot of them are are just like. Come on, man! Like you made us a wait a year for this game, and or made us wait years for this game, and it's not good. That's why, like, I hope Final Fantasy VII, like, they, it's a remake, and I can't wait. For, I can't wait yeah. to get it, but I just really hope they don't fuck it up. Never got into Final Fantasy. I know you're weird for that. How am I weird <laughs> for that? Nah, I don't know. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I never got into that either. I though. never. Liked I didn't. Final I didn't. I, didn't I, did, I wasn't. I didn't really vibe with it. It was real big. Like I know. That was a big thing, but I just couldn't vibe with it for I some reason. It wasn't it my style. Was I was like in the fucking like, to me, like I was in the like Need for Speed and I shit. Like, when if, mm. if it was dirt a fun nasty game, low, I really like button <laughs> mashing type style games. Like if anything, I didn't really. I and I and if it's a role playing game, I like regular like role playing game type shits. Whereas like you end up in a fucking button mashing type of situation. Like what though? Like remember Soul Calibur? Yeah, that was a fighting game. Right, that was a fighting game. But you kind of, like, went through the story and shit. Like, mm-hmm. so by the time, like, Soul Calibur, like, 4 came out, you kind of kind of transitioned into, like, an RPG-style game where it was, like... The story-wise. Right, yeah. the story-wise, where it was, like, you kind of, like, had to walk up and then, then you get into the next fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like that type of shit. As long as it's button-mashing type of fighting, but that whole, I'm going to wait on this side, you're going to wait on that side. You're gonna press this button. I'm gonna press that button. And you know what I mean. Save that shit for fucking Pokemon, bro. I feel like that's the only game that respectively would like. I like that type of fighting style. I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon too. I love Pokemon, but I hate Final Fantasy. 
and yeah. it's that fighting style that I really but that's like. That's a great, great game, man. I'm telling you, if you give it a chance, it's actually really good, man. Especially yeah, now. Throw up no, but but now it's pretty much like, I mean, like, unless you got to throw magic or some shit like that, like, the way they actually throw do. Throw magic. No, nah, for real. Like, unless you got to do, like, magic moves, because you got to probably, like, I think, I don't know. If, I think it's like, well, I don't really know, but it's like a certain button you got to push or some way you got to push it. But, like, a lot of times you're just attacking. It's like you said, mashing, like, button. Man. Like, uh, you ever play um, Devil May Cry? Yeah, once or twice. It's like that, like, you know, like, kind of like a slashing, Nah, but moving. see, Devil May Cry was on some shit, because nigga had the guns, he was pulling out the guns, and you had to aim, shoot, you yeah, know what I mean? I, I never really liked that game. What? Mm. You know who put me on that game? Your older brother. I know, I was say Tweety. that. Tweety. No, nah, Tweety was probably Josh. No, it was Tweety, bro. You sure? I'm, Yo, I'm almost a thousand percent don't, positive. Don't, don't say that name. You, got, you can't say his nickname, dog. He gonna get mad as hell. Really? He hates that name, uh, bro. My bad. He gonna fuck you up, yeah. bro, for real. Well, fuck it. I mean, I'm Chunky Monkey. He's gonna let me slide. Like, <laughs> uh, no, he he hates when. Oh man, you just put it on the air. He hates that shit. Man, shut up, Miguel. Man. There Love you me. go. Because he going. Oh, he gonna fuck you up, man. I, I even know not to say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I could get my brother some competition, but nah, I even know not to say that shit. <laughs> Like you when we're out in well, public, well, don't show him this episode. <laughs> no, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to bleep that part out as best as I can. But yeah, that's like yo when we're out in public. Uh, I don't even edit it. Fuck it. When, I, when we're out in public, I don't even say that shit out in public. Like when we're the, like out low, like it's being like, okay. right. or shit, I just said no. <laughs> but like, <laughs> that's what I'm used to it, yeah. what's the name of that weed again? <laughs> Yeah, so it's like I just said, I fucked up. But you know, point is, I right, like, right, I'm comfortable. It. But I'm like in public and shit like that, and we're all like talking amongst people. I was like, yo, Miguel, I know, like I don't, you know what I mean? Because I just don't like you know making him feel uncomfortable. Cause I know yeah. he, you know, that's like a family and, and thing. That's big bro, yeah, yeah. I respect big bro's wishes sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Even though, right, even though you, you the, we the pain in the ass little bros. Shit, I'm chilling. <laughs> I ain't never did nothing to that nigga. <laughs> he had a problem with me since we was kids. I don't know. Now we're good. Now we're good now as adults. Of course, like we got mad love for each other. But like as oh, as man. kids, psh, yeah, that nigga. I don't know what was his deal with me, bro. Yo, he hated me. This nigga's such a fucking prick. <laughs> Yo, dog, that nigga used to fuck me up when we was kids, oh, bro. Man, listen, I was like, dog, I didn't even do shit half the time. That was the funny part. I wouldn't do shit. Even Josh would say, like, dog, you're not even doing nothing. Like, <laughs> Josh would get in between, like, dog, you're not even doing nothing. you just beating him up and shit. <laughs> I'd be sitting there just mag and play with my toys. Here you come. <laughs> just fucking me up. I think all older brothers was like that, though. Because my older brother used to beat me up, too. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I don't know. used to try. I think I think, I think all probably older kick your ass. Like yeah, have you in the headlock. <laughs> <laughs> like like on some Nap- Napoleon Dynamite shit. Nah, what'd you say, John? You said what he used to what? No, nah, I said my brother used to do the same shit. I think all older brothers are like that. Or just an older brother's an older sister or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. they're always gonna pick on a younger one right. to a certain extent. Yeah, I mean he I mean years later he told me why. When I got to like maybe like eighteen, nineteen, he, he explained why. I, I mean, I told him, I, I, you know, I forgave him. It is what it is. We older now. But it was, like, funny to think about, like, damn, I used to whoop my ass for no reason. <laughs> but now. But I never. Yeah, but. <laughs> Come inside, like, hey, what's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dog, he used to be like, yo, what the fuck? He busted my nose once. <laughs> damn. Yeah, he. But he 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 said it was an accident because I could. It was funny because you never. He used to do that little shit that like he's a f- make yeah, you flinch. Oh my god, I used to hate when he you know did like that the, shit, the yo. fake try to punch you in the he face. He used to do that shit to me all the time. He's like, come on, man, what the fuck? Stop. And but when he did it, yeah, I he guess slid. because I kept telling him I wanted to play the game. He, he was playing. He, uh, I wanted to play the wrestling game, bro. I forget what it was. It was something on the Super Nintendo. And it was wrestling. WrestleMania two thousand. Some shit Yo, where it had all shit. the characters, bro. Like this was like one of the games that actually had a lot of roster, and I was hyped about it because it was a right. big roster. It had like Yokozuna and fucking like you know Bret Hart and all like a girl wrestler. It was uh, I think uh, 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 China. No, 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 no. It was a uh, Scary Sherry. I think her name is oh, or something like that. Legend, yeah, the legend lady. Talking about. She was a manager and shit. 
I'm high as hell. I'm saying her name wrong. I think, but scary Sherry. I think it was that right. I, I'm I'm high. I, I forget. But um, point is, I wanted to play that shit, and then that nigga just was like being pissed off that I was, you know, one I was playing it, and he wanted to play some, so he just like fake punched me, and then he just got mad. He, I guess he really wanted to punch me at the last one and shit. Cause he was, he was like, you know what? Uh, yeah, he punched you. Ow! <laughs> he punched the shit out of me. I just looked at him, and and my shit started leaking. Cause I wasn't crying yet. Like I felt it. Like, <laughs> like was it gushing or was it? It was just like it just dri- it just did yeah, just just leaked it out like. Sh- uh. And that I shit was just, gushing. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could. I guess you could say that's gushing. called gushing, right, nigga? I've been punched like that once before. I know, but that's crazy because I guess at an early age, but ever since then, I got punched my nose before that. My shit don't leak. Yeah, Mm-mm. that's crazy. I got punched my nose one time before that, bro. My shit don't leak at all. You like? I guess you might have to break my shit probably before to do that. Mm-hmm. But like, if you hit it hard enough, maybe. But like the way he hit me, someone hit me. I guess in that powerful range, bro. That that shit don't make my shit leak at all, bro. I don't know why. Some people got sensitive nose, I guess. I, I don't know. Possibly. But that shit, because I was young. I was like probably like six when he busted my shit, bro. So. That's probably because that's probably because your body adjusts to certain shit. So maybe your body adjusted. Like, maybe. I don't and know. now you kind of. Because I remember when I was, I want to say, <laughs> sleeping ass nigga. <laughs> I want to. I want to say maybe. Definitely not. I was just stuck. Like I want to say maybe in that like, simulation. <laughs> he glitching. <laughs> Yo word. Yo word. He's malfunctioning. Word. He's malfunctioning right now. Because since this is a part of the simulation, and our podcast time is is a little off today, it's a little later than usual. Mm-hmm. He was he wasn't programmed for this shit. Mm-mm. This is the glitch. This is a glitch. Oh, man. And right now he's trying to f- he's he's trying to figure out how to overdo it his 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 membrane his uh his motherboard you know is trying to like trying to figure out like what to do you done no right. or not the biggest thing when he don't know what to do <laughs> 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 That's, you know you f- yo what John what if all these years that was a warning sign yo to let them know yo we're like abracadabra boop, beep, boop. dog. Yeah, see, he just did it now. What if we get rid of that simulation? <laughs> <laughs> what if we get rid of that simulation. <laughs> uh, oh shit! Oh, fuck you. See what's really inside. <laughs> like, let him know again. Come at me, bro. That's funny. <laughs> That's six, man. That's six. I don't want to think about it. No, that, and like, remember, I was saying that night, y'all, like, it's because people can't fathom that shit in their mind. Remember, I was saying, like, some people get to the point where they start believing that shit. And, and like I said, I don't promote suicide. Like, you know, I have loved ones that done that shit, you know what I mean? So I would never want no one to ever go through that. I even had thoughts of it. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody had a thought of it once or twice. But to know that like someone could even break their mind that that deep and start believing that they even think like yo fuck it you know what i mean like why not what's better there something could be better there you know what i mean like and that's what i'm saying what like if, what if that's what people start thinking in a sense but that's because that's because people that can't handle it you know what i mean because they they it 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 scares them you know what i mean it kind of fucks them up to the point where it's just like they don't give a fuck now that's me. Is that you? Yeah, that's me, man. Sorry. That's cool. But um, yeah, they, they, it's because they can't handle it. That's why some people like think like, oh, if the government released some shit or whatever the case may be, they can't. The people can't know. The people can't know. Because honestly, some people can't fucking know. I mean, it, it only makes sense. That's how this whole colonization thing was built. <laughs> Right now, colonization has me thinking about where the hell's my thing. John's gonna be up all night thinking about this shit, like, dog. 
What if I go to another dream? Probably gonna write a song about it. Apex. Simulation. Call it The Sims. That way you could talk about it in a third person. So just think about it. Creative though, right? culture. Your simulation, Javon, is that me and Angel and everybody else around you ain't even real, right? And them two are programmed <laughs> to do the shit that they do every day. Mm-hmm. Cause there's some people that you know they say, "Oh, I see the light at the end." Then some people say, "There's no light at the end." Some people see darkness. Some people see ghosts. What if the ghost is a glitch? Facts. What if the ghost is a glitch? Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, I'm pretty sure there's evil. There's evil things, obviously. I do believe that. Just like I believe there's good. So you're going to see, of course, maybe there's some things you do see that's just like, dis- you know, distraughting, as they say. Something that's like, holy shit, like, you know, it fucks you up, maybe gruesome looking or whatever. But some things, some ghosts are like clean looking. You know what I mean? Where they're just like, it's an apparition of their yeah, last but life. But if it's assimilation. Right. All of that shit is, is added into the simulation. Mm-hmm. That's just mysteries of the simulation. It's a it's a glitch in the machine. Or maybe it's not a glitch at all. Maybe. Maybe it's actual programming and we're just meant to think it's a glitch. Or think it's a ghost. It's the mysteries it's the mysteries of the the, the mysteries of the simulation. Yeah. Because who's the people that's controlling it? That's the main question. Is it God? Is it another species force? Is it some higher crazy? Or is it just the force? The force, <laughs> right? Like the Javon <laughs> believes. Really, really, really. You gonna bring that in? That's so good. <laughs> yeah, it could be anything. That's the crazy part. It could be anything. It could be to the point where, like, you know, what's crazy. I even thought about it to the point so where. So what if, 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 some like matrix shit? We could change the code of the programming in the simulation what if that's what this that's not but that's not how it's gonna go what do you mean that's how it's supposed to go then. because we won't have access to that we're asleep right now dude we are not getting that you, you don't understand we're asleep he's lost in assimilation <laughs> yeah he lost in assimilation he wants to get out but he can't because now he wants to know what's out there, but there's right. nothing out there right. but another simulation for you. You in a fucking time capsule. <laughs> You're in an artificial womb somewhere. Yeah, just like the Matrix. <laughs> just like the Matrix, dude. I just said this. Yeah, but it's, it's not just like the Matrix. I'm just saying, though, it's going to be it's pretty much like the Matrix, though. Only thing is, not gonna maybe, it couldn't be, maybe it's not machines, though. <gasps> maybe it's a whole fucking another life force that's way more powerful than any fucking thing that we know. So maybe it's just energy, like some sort of matter. Maybe, maybe it's not matter at all. Maybe it's a fucking just another alien. But to exist, you must be matter. Maybe you not. must be of matter to exist. We, that's all we are is matter. That's what you program. To that's think. what you program. I think, but we don't know what the fuck's out there. Think about it this way: there's people out there that's dying from cancer, and there's someone out there who has the fucking ingredients to kill it for years now. For okay, years, yeah, I've been, I've been I've been saying that for a while. So, so okay. the point I'm making is that if they had that shit for years, why they don't give it to the public? Because they need to keep them controlled, right? So the same thing. What you mean? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> yeah, so the same thing. I didn't. I didn't kinda, you didn't get it. No, nah, I mean, you didn't understand it? I get what he's saying, you, you but I'm just saying, the like, concept? like what he's the comparison to, like, to what he was getting right, at right. to what me he's seemed to like say is essentially like the controller of the simulation withholds resources in this well, from the simulation 
so you don't fucking. He's lost in assimilation. <laughs> he's lost. I know what he's saying. You don't. You're not even real. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's crazy, the... right? Who's to say any of us is real, right? Exactly. <clears throat> is we all in this room at the same time right now? Who's in whose simulation? Because what if... You tell me? Whose simulation is this? Because in the end, like... Ew. That's a crazy-ass fucking title name. Whose simulation is this? But thing is, the thing of this, right? We're, we have spirit, right? We have a soul. Mm. What if all they're doing is just taking that soul when we die, like I said, and we're put into another simulation. Or when we're, um, damn, I had it in my head. I lost it. Fucking lost in the simulation. Shit. Lost in the simulation right now, dog. That's today's fucking episode. You're not real. <laughs> but um, I guess the point I was trying to make is that just knowing that they, they we do have a spirit, that's what controls the body. right? We're just a vessel. Right, that's what they so say. So when we're going into another vessel, that's the whole purpose of another universe. That's why we're another person. Remember I was saying, like, you know, the other you could be different. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You could be an evil person. You could be a fucking a white person. You can be whatever. Right. This might be kind of off, but I kind of feel like it's close to it, right? Mm -hmm. With the shit. I was just listening to some shit about... Uh, it was talking about how people eventually, um, like what how, how shit is getting like so modern, like uh, few like you know when we get into the future, how shit is getting so easy for us to do. Um, damn, I don't, I can't, I can't get it. But that's the simulation. It is lost in the simulation. It is. Right now. It is. Damn. They don't these want us to know. No, these motherfuckers is doing something Damn. over there. We're, I spoke up. My, I spoke, they gonna send some agents over here. We gotta be careful. No, what it is? We're high as shit. I ain't gonna lie. We are high as hell right now. We just smoke like mad blunts. But I get what you're saying in a sense too, though, because it's it just it just makes you think like whatever's out there, right? Whether it's aliens, whether it's future people, because you believe in ghosts, right? For sure, yeah, right. And I know, I know if you've seen, I know if you've seen ghosts before. I know Hell you yeah. have. Javon, I don't know if you have. I know I have maybe once, and like, like I said, the corner of my eye, I've seen shit, or maybe turned my head fast enough. Like even last night, man, I was at the fucking hospital when I was making delivery and shit. I bet you be seeing ghosts around here. Nah, nah, dude, it wasn't a ghost, but like the way it felt. You know what I mean? Like, I felt fucking, like... You could feel the premonition. Well, because, like, this dude was coming from the stairs, and whatever he did to come up the stairs, it sounded like someone was running behind me, like, trying to, like, sneak up on me. Mm. Like a sneak attack. Mm. I, You know me, bro. I whipped my head so fucking fast, bro. But when I looked back, because it felt so close. Like, was it felt... No there? No, the dude was there, but he was all the way down the fucking hall. So whatever I felt, it felt close as hell, bro. Like it felt like when they said that part, I don't look better. Like your, your, the back of your head was stood up. Yo, yeah, bro, my back and everything. Mind you, I had my fucking my shirt, the sweatshirt, this hoodie, and my and, and the work jacket. Mm. And I still felt that shit, bro. That shit was weird, bro. Because the way it sounded, like, the person, like, when he came up the like, because it was the dude. Like, he came up the right. stairs. Like, I didn't know it was the dude. I'm just saying, though, like, when I found out it was the dude. But the way it sounded before I saw the dude, it sounded like like the, like the uh, sneakers when they hit, like, the, 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 the squeaking yeah. sound. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they on the, on the hardwood and a bunch of black niggas playing basketball. That was racial as hell. But, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> But the point is, like, it was squeaking and shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And when it was it was squeaking, it just felt like someone was running down on me, yeah, bro. Like, if it really felt like someone was about to, like, just jump down on me and try to, like, fuck me up, you feel me? It right. just felt weird. He was like, whoa. Yo, I whipped my head so fast, bro. When I look back, it was just the dude, but he was, like, down the hall. And he was near the stairway. He was, like, I guess, like, doing something there. 
It just felt weird, bro. I was like, yo, what the hell, dog? I felt creeped I, I was creeped out for a mm-hmm. second. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like that shit is real, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wanted I wanna go do uh Y'all be down with me one day to go do some ghost hunting. Not ghost hunting. No, I wanna say ghost hunting. That sounds weird. I don't wanna do that. Like go to certain like places. Not at nighttime, obviously. Like morning. No. no. Keep me out of that. <laughs> no. I always said I wanted to do that, man. Like I, I, I wanna go to like the Pine Barrens. I wanna go to like fucking the Devil's Tree. I don't want to touch the I can't. Tree, I can't go to none of those places. Nah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm good. I keep forgetting. That. I be forgetting, bro. My bad. I'm sorry. I always apologize. No, I, I, I can't go nowhere. I can't. I feel like I can't go to none of them places. No, nah, you can't. I, <laughs> I might be forgetting, actually. My bad. I'm bad. Oh, man. I'm cool, bro. Honestly, I shouldn't be going to them places, but I get curious, bro. You know what's funny? I think sometimes that's my gift. What? My curiosity. Not for everything, obviously. I was about to say, you know what they say about curiosity, man. No, not for everything. But I'm talking about, like, maybe in a sense, like, I be thinking sometimes my gift is sometimes because I feel shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's not. You're, you're empathetic. Yeah. And when I feel shit, it's like I could, f- like, feel that person. You feel what I'm saying? I could mm. feel what they're going through, bro. Like, it'd be weird, bro, when I can actually tell somebody, like, yo, like, you mm. feel like this. They look at me like, huh? Like, and I'll say some other shit, and they just be like, oh, shit. Like, damn, that's how I feel. Like, how'd you know? I just, I could just feel it. I won't even know somebody, bro. If it hits me in the heart and I feel that shit, feel that person's pain, bro, like something that just screams out to me, yeah, I feel it, bro. Like, and I'm not trying to say I'm all this, like, psychic person. I'm not, none of that shit. But it's just like, the, I feel like my gift is like, fucking wizard. <laughs> the fucking wizard. <laughs> nah, I just be, I could just feel people out, nah, bro. Man, when there's I, only one wizard. That's the cutie. I can really feel people, bro. I don't know why. It'd be weird. Like, you know, obviously because besides Because energy like, is transferable, bro. Like, right now we're transferring energy. Like, we can not even have to look at each other and still understand, like, oh, man, what the fuck I'm saying? This shit. We can literally not look at each other and still understand what we're saying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not looking at John right now, but I still... And picking up off of his vibrational energy and shit, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's it's energy. That's just like the only way I can explain it. Yeah, it's just weird, bro. Like when you when you can just relate to somebody sometimes without even knowing them. What the fuck are you laughing about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he's lost in the simulation. He's fucking gone, bro. This guy, right? Roll another blunt. Yo, for real, bro. Cause this nigga, <laughs> I don't understand, though. What's wrong with this nigga, though? He's he broke. I'm like, this is why he that? didn't want to go down the rabbit hole. He can't handle it. <laughs> he's wilding out here, right? He can't he handle it. He right can't now, handle right? it. That's what I'm thinking. Like he's he, he's he's really. It. He's really on some shit right now. Because <laughs> he he can't handle it. He, he's fucking going are you, nuts. Are, are, don't, bro, don't, because I, I'm lost right now, too, in a sense, because I don't know what, what he's laughing at. This nigga is fucking... <laughs> I was about to ask you, are you fucking with him? Like, be he's, honest. Bro. Nah, fuck bro. With nah. Because I, I'm high he's as hell. He's lost in assimilation. Are you fucking with him? I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Dog, you all right over there, bro? I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. He's gone. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga yeah. could not handle the red pill just now, dog. <laughs> He's gone. He could not handle the red pill. <sighs> He's hallucinating. Yeah, well, for real. That's the glitch. Because he's getting since the since the glitch happened too many times, bro, 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 bro. bro. Since the glitch happened too many times, he's getting too. too he's getting info that he shouldn't be getting. Which is causing a, a glitch in a glitch. Um, nah, I just felt like I was stuck on a loop. I mean, you still have control of what you're doing. It's not like you don't have control. You do, but you don't. But you don't. <laughs> <laughs> everything everything we say is just to keep fucking with your head. <laughs> you have control, but you don't. <laughs> you, <laughs> you do, but you don't. <laughs> you're not in a simulation. You are in a simulation. 
We're here. We're not here. <laughs> Funny. Nah, but for real though, like that shit could be true. <coughs> wake up in another person's body or make up another open of life. Word, that shit be crazy. Sometimes you don't remember, sometimes you do. <laughs> John, what are you doing? I'm not. You're looking at me, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. <laughs> you. I, I see you smiling, but I'm I mean, just smiling. I'm, I'm in. The, I'm into this convo, bro. Do me a favor. Take the fucking. <laughs> 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 He's tripping ball sacks. What's the name of that weed again? <laughs> what's the name of that weed? Dog. Oh, I don't know what's up, guy. But guy over here is crazy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, what the fuck happened? He has control, but he don't. Yeah, <laughs> holy dog, what's going on with this guy? Yo, let me drink some of that jaw. Go ahead, finish it, kill it. Still a nice amount in there. Kill that shit. That's a good. That's by the way, bro. That's my favorite monster right there. I don't really fuck with him. Monster. Yeah, I yeah I, I'm not crazy it. about it, I'm but when I, too, I, I used, so. I used to, I used to get crazy into it. But that one right there, it's called Monster Juice. <sighs> Ugh. No, I'm cool. Monster Juice is pretty good. Well, it's been sitting there for yeah, shit hours. It's hot as hell. That's me. I worry about the proof. Please. What? Please. What? Please what? Pass me that water bottle. Nigga, what water bottle? The one that... This one? Yes. He dehydrated. He dehydrated. You overloading. He's overloaded, bro. <laughs> it's overloaded. This nigga, when he leaves, he's going to be in his room pacing back and forth. Just like... Not even. When we leave, he, he thinks he's going to do whatever he, he has to do, right? But automatically, since, the, since this simulation glitched so much... He's just gonna bloop. He's just gonna sit there, and he's just gonna be fucking just stuck in a time, just stuck, not not being able to move at all. His fucking whole body's just gonna be all right, Rick. Just <laughs> redownload he's stuck it. In, uh, he's just gonna in, be redownload in, in, in a fucking loop right there. He's just gonna uh, not move. Uh. What? Why are you burping like that? I was trying to. Like, oh, you're the person named Rick. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. All right, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it threw me off for a second. <laughs> yeah, it did, bro. Yeah, guys, I don't know, man. I mean, like I said, it, it, it possible. It could be possible. It could be not. I, what? I did not say anything to you. But then, if, did you say serious? No. Sometimes when you say serious. Oh, uh, maybe I did. I think I said serious. Nah, listen. Think about that, right? Look, mm-hmm. that was just a clue, right? For the fact that we are in a simulation, right? Damn, this shit bright as hell. But <laughs> it did feel like it got brighter in here. Yeah, right? I had the shades on the whole Come time. On, get the fuck I had the shades on the whole bullshit. time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah, but look, look, look. Before y'all get too far on that, right? You just heard what your phone said, right? Right. How can I help you? Nah, listen. It said okay, listening. It said okay, I'm listening. Mm-hmm. That's part of the glitch, bro, and the hint. For us to think that that was an accident, but that's the fucking niggas who's controlling this simulation secretly. You know how we get hints. Boom. That was a hint right there. Mm-hmm. They're said, listening. So you, what you're saying is that's they? That's Letting they. Know that that's they. they. That's they. Just part of the, that's, they. That's part of that glitch. Shout out to my nigga Cali. We don't fuck with they. The fuck? We don't fuck with they? Yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, that shit is creepy, but it could be real. That brought me back, though, to thinking, like, if it was a simulation, then our lives don't, like, the, the lives that we live in right now don't really mean nothing. If it's a simulation, if we program to do the same shit that we do every day, you know, some, some things well, change, what, but yeah, what program to do the same things every day. And that means not not in the fact like you're gonna go kill yourself, but in the fact like it don't mean nothing. Like there's no importance really of your life because you're just 
made to do the same thing. Yeah, like you're programmed you're, to do the same thing. Yeah, you're you're so you're you're looking at it like where like sometimes you'd be like some people who are like, man, like no, nah, I can't do that. Then they find this out and they actually believe in it, and they're like, man, fuck it, I'm gonna do that shit. Like, the fuck do I need? To, I'm gonna start. You know, what the right. fuck do, you know? Right. What can I lose? Drop out of college. <laughs> So Park here because I want it to. Goes back to <laughs> it's still in company time. Still on top of, still in company time. <laughs> it kind of goes back to that uh, conversation that we had uh, last week. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember. I uh, I mentioned vaguely of this book called The Giver. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this book, I think I may have it in, in my library. Um, basically, in this book, The Giver or whatever, it's about like a utopian so- society and like kind of like the way we live now. And their the their lifestyle, right? They like like pick certain shit. Like certain things happen for certain reasons. Like everything it has a purpose. Mm-hmm. Like they literally have assigned like lifestyles for certain people, type shit. And there is one certain person that basically gets to understand the knowledge of everything. Now, mind you, in the whole story they can only see things in black and white so that right there is already a foreshadow letting you know that they can only see things one way the civilization but this one person called the giver picks one person to you know i mean become his apprentice basically every like cycle Mm -hmm. and the one kid that becomes the guy's apprentice has the same abilities as the giver he can see in color so basically he can see life in a different perspective and he understands that the simulation is a simulation and that is exactly the same way that we live right now. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't really make sense to me. It didn't make sense to you? He's like basically lost saying like one eye is seen like seen differently than the other. That's all he's really saying. All right. The whole thing is that it's a, it's about perspective. It's literally about how you see shit or how you like, you know what I mean, you grew up, your moralistic background, your your ethics, your your culture. You know what I mean? Like speaking of like dude. So <clears throat> it's about the way you live, you know what I mean? So essentially, it's like saying that the movie itself is saying that these people live a certain way. Right, and they don't change it for nothing, and they won't change it. Sort of like the, the same way we live, where it's like there's certain rules to society that you follow, and certain rules that you, if you break, there's certain consequences and shit like that. Like there's a, an order to their lifestyle. You know what I mean? And every so often, this one person gets the key to everything. Basically, the fucking he gets the fucking knowledge of life. You know what I mean? And he understands that the way that they actually live their life, he's glitching, look at him, that the way he actu- they actually live their life is essentially incorrect or a bunch of bullshit that they fabricated for people to just be enslaved or doing some other shit that they don't even understand that they're doing, essentially. We're still enslaved now. Exactly. It's the simulation. I'm trying to get you to understand that the simulation is everything. And everything is the simulation. You just learned about the simulation. (laughs) How do you know that? How do you know that I wasn't implanted to you about the simulation? So are you trying to like right now tell us that you're like saying that you're like you're being honest now that you knew this all along and I'm just asking. Mm. It could be a possibility. Right, I mean, we're talking about possibilities here, right? Because we're not talking about literal facts, right? All right, his whole thing kind of changed up, like made mm-hmm. more admit into it. He's like like I said before right earlier, we should get rid of him, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you did. You did say that. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, we're talking about a simulation, and you know what I mean. Like, yo, what's up with your boy, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's found functioning or something. <laughs> no, man, but, like, um, his story is bullshit. What's up with your boy? <laughs> you think my theory is bullshit? No, 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 you on it. I just, I don't know. I just think at the end of the day, there's... 
there's a lot of things that's unquestioned, obviously. But all right, so this I mean, let, let, we could even step out the simulation real quick, right? Let's step out the simulation view of it. But that's gonna be really hard at this moment. Think so? It, we are it blew his mind. It, it blew, blew his mind. mind. That's how he wants to talk. No about matter it. what convo you get into now, it's He's impossible because of the simulation. simulation. Yeah. Nothing means shit to him already. Yeah, he, I <laughs> fucked his head up, dog. And I feel why bad. go to work tomorrow? I can sit here and play Apex. <laughs> I can sit here and play Apex all day. You know what I'm Shout saying? Shout out to EA. Word. <laughs> That's all he wants to do, dog. I'm gonna just stay home and play Apex and shout out to EA all day. Get Smoke a fucking eat. scholarship. <laughs> Get a motherfucking scholarship. <laughs> oh man. No, but it's all the simulation. Man. Why are you talking like you knew this already? Because it's all the simulation, bro. Now he's just playing. This guy's just being a dick. Yeah. <laughs> now he's being a fucking huge boner. <laughs> Fuck. That's all you got for me? No, but like I said, that's all the simulation, right? So... Okay. <laughs> I think it's blowing his mind. <laughs> I think it's blowing his mind, right? And, and, is, is it blowing your mind now? Okay, yeah, so no, it's not. Right, right, it's just because right, right. like, now, nigga, you know we never stepping it out of this shit. Like so, no, why because even say it? no, because of him, he's acting like he like he knew all this already. He's like, yeah, it's, it's a simulation. part of the simulation, bro. I'm really, this this shit is this shit is something, bro. <laughs> this shit is something, bro. Think so? That's something. Yeah. You think he's really, really malfunctioning right now? I think so. But you locked those. Uh, you locked those at night. No. You said what? What if it was my programming to act like I was malfunctioning? Why would he want that? They want because think about it. Because think about it. They just let us know that it's so much glitching going on that they just let us know that they were listening. For the fact that if they're listening, it instantly fix him real quick. To adapt to the woke shit that we talking about, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Think about that one. You believe in possessions, Javon? Like people taking or, or entities taking over people? Yeah, or some sort of it, or some type of thing taking over someone's body. Or is soul. that not what the simulation is? No, no, it's two different things. Yeah, the simulation will be more of like. See, look, you try to be a dick, and it failed. It fucking <laughs> failed. That's what you get, you big fat penis. All right. I swear, that's what you get. I'm glad I fucking said this. At least I'm big and fat in the penis. <laughs> I love you, my nigga. You funny. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, the simulation is just basically you being asleep in a pod or whatever the situation. However, however you're, Wait, you're, you're. How did we get back here? Because you want to talk about this. Because this is what it is. Let's go. Basically, it's fuck like, the like, rabbit hole. We're fucking at the Earth's core right now. Yeah, you know the Earth's core it has a thin layer of crust before you get to it, <laughs> bro. <laughs> really, really? That was a weak ass fucking joke, yo. No, it's not a joke. I'm dead serious. You know the Earth's core has a thin layer of crust before you get to it. The fucking crust is at the top of the Earth. No, it's not. There's another cr- there's another crust layer before you even get to the core. All I really got out of that was thin and crust, and <laughs> I love pizza. I love pizza. Me too. It's my favorite. Turn into a fat boy with the pizza. This guy over here. Let me do the course of beer. Fucking Bill Nye, the science guy and shit. I actually love Bill Nye. No, he's alright, I guess. But I, nah, you no, know, no, I, no, I, I, no, don't, no. I don't, I don't. Bill Nye's a fucking Bill robot, Nye, bro. What? Yeah, he, he's a fucking robot. Bro, yeah, Bill. Don't, no, don't, real don't, shit, bro. Don't. Bill Nye is actually working with them, bro. And you know who them are? You talking about they? They, yes. Them, they. You same. think Bill Nye weren't working with they? Yeah, dog. Come what on now, mean, bro. Like he like educated the. He's a clone, bro. He's a clone. Dog, that's not. Okay, bro. so you believe in clones? Of yeah. course. Of course. Of course. Okay, I show you other video about what what. See, I, I I don't know if we should talk about this. We ain't got much uh, ain't got much juice, but fuck it. I guess we got a little bit of time for it. Um, I show you a video about like with Bernie with Bernie Mac, right? Mm-hmm. Like how he died or whatever. Like the reason why he died, in a sense. 
I, don't, I vaguely remember. So the video that the guy was saying, like, m- you know, pretty much Bernie found out the truth about shit. And they was trying to basically clone him. They was, Bur- quiet, he was trying to quiet him. And shit. They was trying to quiet and clone him. And, but before they was trying to clone him, they wasn't trying to clone him at first. But when they f- when he first found out, they showed them. They was like, yeah, this is what we do, blah, blah, blah. And then basically, like, Steve Harvey, D.L. And Hughley, the other niggas is of Kings of Comedy. Yeah, the other guys of Kings of Comedy, pretty much. Yeah, I do remember this. Fucking, video. um, basically, like, turned them, turned them in because he was going to tell people about it. And that's why when Bernie died, the way he died, it was, like, all, like, kind of, like, secretive a little bit or kind of, like, spontaneous in mm-hmm. a sense. You feel me? Like, it was just weird how it happened. And... They were saying, like, basically that was part of the reason because he was going to reveal the fact that like, they clone people and that, you know, hmm. they, they try to, like, get it through your genes. Like, they try to, like, you know, take it from your cups or, you know, maybe from a sweat gland or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, they try to take right. it from something of you, you know, which comes into play of basically, like, when you're rich like that, and and you're in that type of level of elite category of like richness so you gotta be careful because it's like dude like even a girl you're fucking could be a girl you're fucking you know what i mean think she could fucking try to somehow say that shit somehow you know what i mean or you at the bar pay the bartender off fucking try to keep your cup with your with your lips on it that shit happens, dude. So, you think they clone just so they can be begging their ass people? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is when it comes to the elite people who are making elite money, rich people, mm-hmm. you know, people that really are making money, money that we can't even fucking think of, or people that's part of them, let's put it that way, mm-hmm. and that does these things with them, right? Mm-hmm. They the ones that they try to clone, because just in case something is out of hand, or they you know try to reveal some shit. I mean, there's multiple ways why they they got these people basically hostage. Sometimes, I mean, if you really like believe in that shit, you know what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. if you really look into it and believe in it, you really see that they got multiple ways. <coughs> they got, they got right. It's sex like tapes. They got multiple fucking, layers of slavery. Yeah, because they got ways to hold you. Oh, you oh you gonna reveal us? Are you gonna leave? Well, here. All right, you leak we that. We're gonna leak this. We're gonna we're gonna leak you fucking this guy. All right. Or we're gonna fucking leak you, fucking cheating on your wife. Or we're gonna fucking say you're on drugs. Or we're just gonna fuck up your whole life completely. Oh well, yeah, I mean that's the whole point of it. So, that's what I'm saying. It, it, if you want to believe in all that stuff, you know. Or maybe it's not. All right, here you go. Assimilation, right? Ken Kniff from Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Dope, man. What you think about it, bro? Dissimulation. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I'm so... M- I'm actually getting mad at myself for even fucking introducing this conversation <laughs> to him. You fucked him up. I really am. You fucked him up. No, you didn't. Do you believe there's like multiple gods though? Did you like believe that some American god shit? Yeah, like do you think at one point in time, like like myth like the mythology of things like, because there you know there's there's Asian or Chinese mythology, there's Asian mythology, Japan mythology, there's you know <laughs> he just went to three different Asian mythologies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. Japan mythology. Yeah, I'm just saying though, like there's mad <laughs> mythologies, bro. Like there's a lot of. There's a lot of, from different culture, from Celtic to all that right, shit. Right, 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 right. And Celtic, Greek. Right, 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 shit, right, right. So, you know, do you think that at one point that they were actually here? Actually, like, real, you know? Like Thor, the god. Of yeah, the like there was actually, there. like the Nordic gods, the Greek gods, like there was actually Medusa, you know what I mean? There was actually a fucking Odin. There was actually a Poseidon. There was actually a fucking Atlantis. Goliath. Huh? A Goliath. With yeah. One fucking eye. You know, it's funny. You, you ever read the book of Enoch? I have, actually. 
Well, I was hearing it. I didn't get to read it, but I was, I was hearing the book, you know, the audio. On YouTube? Yeah, audio play. And, um. They talk I'm, about the Nephilim and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I'm hearing it, bro. Like, it reveals some shit. I only got maybe like 40 minutes in, but. Oh, no. Nah, maybe close to an hour. Because it's a three hour, it's a three hour audio book. You know, it's three more books. Yeah, there's other books. There's lost books. There's yeah. seven, actually. Yeah. I believe but there's like seven. In that, in that, like. Vector is three more. Yeah, like well, all tying to to the, to the Bible. And shit. Right, right. Well, this like I said, within that Enoch book, it was three hours to hear. So I only got probably like maybe close to an hour, and they were just talking about like the Watchers, the Angel Watchers that came down to have sex with the fucking men of you know men of the daughters. You feel me? And all this different shit. And bro, like it was talking about how like the men of the daughters who actually lead with the fucking the angels, the Watchers and shit are going to be considered sirens. And it blew my mind because I always wonder what the fuck is a siren? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I've always heard, like, they're fucking, like, some type of ter- type of mermaid or whatever, like, sea creature or whatever that fucking, like, sings beautifully and basically and kills the right. men that, like, they hunt. So lure the fucking big boats in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. So it made me think, right, that, like, this is why I believe, right, everything's connected. Whether it's the fucking Christianity what like religion of Christianity or whatever or whatever it is mm-hmm. to fucking mythology I'm looking. because that's crazy how like so you hear about sirens that's like the mythology that's more in the mythology tales right but in the book of Enoch it's supposed to be a lost bible talks about them and why or where they came from which was from God banning them and turning them into sirens right that was their punishment. So it's crazy, bro, to think like to know that like that could tie in to mythology, which makes me question was all that real? Because it has to be. If you believe in religion. Uh oh, he's he's telling them. He's wiping his nose, bro. He's telling them. Yeah, he is. Like, hey, I'm Siri, I'm listening. <clears throat> So, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if y'all want to touch on that or if y'all want to leave for next time, but it's up to you guys. But That's heavy. That's this. Hmm. Because there's other things they talk about, like them, you know, God saying that they're like the, the watchers, their punishment was to get covered with molted and, and get casted into whatever the fuck they were supposed to get casted into and shit like that. Like, it was crazy. Like, this book really gives more insight to, like, the religion and even more than religion. Like, when you think about it, you're like, oh, shit. Like, like this. actual, it touched on facts on history and shit. Right, that from that time period that makes you, because like I said, who the fuck would have thought a siren came from that? Because when I heard about the siren, it was from that other story about the, the, I guess the pirate or the fuck, not a pirate, but it was, a, I don't know, one of the people from back in the time, like a disciple or, or warrior or some mm-hmm. shit, and, and he had a fleet of boat, and they, the sirens, he plugged his ears up so they won't go to the sirens and right, shit. Right, so they... He couldn't hear the sirens. Right, sing. So, they, so they couldn't hear the sirens sing. You feel me? And they fucking crashed there, or almost crashed there, or some shit like that. Yeah, but I always wonder, like, book of Enoch again, just yeah. yeah, because I always wonder, like, where the fuck those type of people come from? They talk about the like, even the mythology in well, that story too. They talk about the giants. Where the fuck those giants come from? The, the giants was the the giants were the Nephilim. They were the fucking the the sons of the of the sirens. You feel right. me? And they talk about the Anunnaki too. No, talks about a lot of shit, bro. Like if you next time you got a three hour drive, bro, I'm gonna yeah. send you the link. <laughs> Play that shit. I'm gonna send really? you the link, bro, because that shit is crazy, bro, on how they talk about like I only got like halfway not even like pretty much a quarter way through, but it was fucking like a third. Send it, me that. Yeah, I'm gonna send you to you, bro, because it's it's crazy how they talk about some of that shit. Even like with Noah, because like if it, 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 it ties in with right, Noah and the e- Ark and shit. Enoch is like, uh, I feel like Enoch is like supposed to be Noah's granddad type shit. I mean, he's the son of uh, I think he's Abram and and the son of some shit like that. They, they say it in the John. He says like the son of some the son of Abram is, and the son of uh, of of I'm trying to some other shit. What, uh, some other person. Trying to remember what uh, Noah's father's name was. Um, Looking up some information, so, but 
regardless, you know what I mean? Why are you looking up that? It's 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 crazy to like to know that all that is definitely tied in. And people don't believe it. They they go, Oh, it's unbelievable. What's what makes it what's the facts? That's facts right there. Because if if one thing is talking about it, right, in a whole nother time period and a whole nother religious belief or belief of something, and then another thing of belief of, of whatever is being told in the same way just no backstory because mythology when you think about it, it's really no backstory they give you a little bit like oh the just the son of such and such and whatever whatever but like they don't really give you like why those creatures were created or certain creatures were created or how the fuck they were created they just put them there like oh these are monsters here's a siren here's a giant a golem shit like right. that they don't really tell you where they come from but the book of Enoch was saying it Methuselah Methuselah <laughs> Methuselah that was what Noah's uh father father's name Oh, like you know, to know even know that's real, Noah, in the ark. Yo, you remember that episode of sure. Family Guy, where fucking this nigga Peter gets the fucking like he gets like this like crazy ass vision where he thinks he's Noah and shit. He has to take his family out on a boat. These niggas travel all the way to Japan to the biggest boat in the fucking world or whatever or some shit, and these niggas is in Japan and they're like hello Noah cause they know this nigga's going crazy right they got a whole amusement park set up for like people who think they're fucking turning into Noah and they have to take their family and go do this art shit mm-hmm. da, 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 because hella people see this fucking boat and end up having this whole Noah experience or some shit apparently they, they, I remember way way back they were saying it was, it, they found it in Turkey but I don't, I don't know apparently that wasn't true Mm-hmm. Apparently that wasn't true and shit. So I don't know. That's crazy. I mean, the, apparently they found the Garden of Eden too. I mean, they're looking for a lot of shit. They're looking for the Ark. They're looking for the Ark of the Covenant. They're looking for all that bullshit. Yeah, but did you know they found apparently the Garden of Eden? I don't they, bro. I want to go. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, some archaeologists or some fucking travelers, whatever the fuck you want to call them, you know, went around. Stop it. Huh? I said stop it, bro. No, that's ass. I've read that I'm shit. There, bro. I want to go fucking see the garden. Look it up, look it up bro. Shut on Google, type in people, pi- pi- type in like excursion or archaeologist who finds Garden Eden or some shit. It's probably being an article from like 2006 maybe or some shit like that. Maybe a little later, a little earlier. But it's going to be an old article and it was saying like how they found that thing was like somewhere in like, I, I want to say, I want to say somewhere in like fucking like wherever has like pretty much like a, not a jungle but like mm. you know like an amazonian place i guess you could say somewhere like that like you know i mean i'm not good with all that i'm not that smart but i get what you're saying you know so apparently that's what i'm saying they apparently found it but if they did that's crazy you know what i mean and it has to be real because in the book of yeah he talks about that tree of wisdom mm-hmm. that that's the tree that got kicked out that that kicked, that out, kicked adam and, out adam and eve, eve. Because they was eating from the tree of the tree of wisdom. And that wisdom is something, you know, they weren't supposed to know. Just like assimilation. It's knowledge. It's knowledge. Crazy. Boom. Everything connects, bro, one way or another. That's why I say everything has a truth. Because you can't tell me something's you been told. You know the true truth? Hmm? You know the true truth? The true truths? Yeah, you know the true truth? No. What's the true truth? Tell me. No, nah, you never see the movie. No, uh, I guess not. Fucking movie with Holly Berry and um, fucking Bruce Lee and shit. I forget what his name. I don't remember. Billy Bob Thornton. No. When he fucks her. No. Uh, Not that movie. Never mind. Still fuck. Yeah, I figure you would know that name. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite fucking Holly Berry movies. One of your favorite, favorite, one of your favorite movie. scenes, probably. The bet. first fucking movie where she sold her titties ever. You know how mm-hmm. much she got paid for that scene? She got fucked in that scene. You know how much she got paid for that scene? In, like, in real time, dude. Like, she got, dude, she got, like, dude, you could totally see that on Mr. Skin. No, real shit, though. She really had, I believe, I don't, I mean, it hasn't been really told that it was true or not, but I believe she, she, had, got she really got fucked that night on that set when they recorded it. She got fucked by him. <laughs> Listen, I am, I am, and I like to think I'm a pro. Do you feel like it looks like that realistic? Yeah, thing? because I'm a pro fucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> and not to toot my own horn, but I think I think I'm a pro fucker. You feel me? I think every guy has that confidence that they feel like they're a pro fucker. I think I'm a pro fucker. 
and to see the, the 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 strokes and the way she was getting like taking that shit there's no acting that good where you look like you're really having a fucking orgasm unless you're really really having a fucking orgasm unless she's really 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 good at faking it no dude i listen no there's no way i don't believe that i don't believe that one bit listen angelina jolie used to fuck billy bob dorian she used to fuck him for a reason <laughs> So he, to make Barry, Barry look like how she was looking in that scene, my nigga, he was fucking her. Possiblemente. I think he was fucking her in that I scene, don't know. bro. Possible. And I don't blame him. I'm just saying. And not to slander like that. That's kind of, I know it's kind of rude of me, but just being open about it. Because it ties into also like that shit, like shit with Illuminati and all that bullshit with them. You feel me? Conspiracies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they know too much. How much time we got left on there, man? Uh, well, we ain't got much juice left, so I was about to say we probably cut it. Start cutting it down, guys. It was good for y'all to come this week. That's Appreciate all, it. folks. Yeah, I'm glad we got it in this week because we for missed sure, it for last. Sure. Pretty much last week and the week before that. Even though Javon, me and Javon did it last week, but to be all here, it was it's great. I yeah, man. It. Yeah. So yeah, Javon looked like he's to fucking, you know. Hopefully, we can start trying to pick up two days. I mean, tomorrow if you guys ain't doing them, we could probably do another one. I'm, you know, possibly down for that, uh, depending on how my morning goes. Depends on the time, yeah. Mm-hmm. May possibly be some like eight. Let me know. Not. Just let me know. If anything, later. In a safe place nearby. Everybody have a good night. All right, man. Peace.